What's up, guys? This is here. Yeah. I'm Nuka. I'm Jerison. And we have a lot of news to talk about. But first, Jerison, you want to say something? Oh, yeah, because at the time we're recording this episode, it's actually Canada Day here. So for all our Canadian viewers, we'll say, Happy Canada Day, everyone. Bon fête, Canada. And then also, 48 Tough just released their episode. So, you know, just like usual, <laughs> we record immediately after they put their video up so yeah there's yeah, yeah. a lot and a lot of news to talk about today because two weeks worth two weeks worth of stuff oh has it been two weeks already okay yeah it's been two mm. weeks so okie dokie uh-huh okie dokie so where do we want to start do we want to start with the controversial overseas thing or like where do you want to start that's up anything i mean uh controversial Anything. overseas thing wait what does that mean i don't know if i heard about this <coughs> Delete 48. Uh, oh oh okay the what? new sister groups oh yeah the bo- that thing with mumbai 48 go ahead i mean i guess we can start with that yeah yeah um so i think this was last week yeah this was definitely last week they there was a video announcing the formation no, I saw this on Discord when I woke up, and I'm like, I saw DEL. I'm like, I swear to God, this is New Delhi. And right to my surprise, video, it is New Delhi 48. And then they also said that they're changing the name from Mum 48 to MUB 48. Uh-huh. And they're going to be um, made at the same time. Yeah, apparently, I don't know when they're going to start, but... From what mm. I hear, that like people have to pay to audition or whatever. Wait, is that usual in AKB no. or that you can audition for free? No, oh, no, okay, okay that's it free. first. But yeah, so if you've seen my Twitter response and how I'm feeling about this, oh, you know how I feel about this. No, I've seen it. Mm. Mm, I saw some of them. AKS, can you please stop expanding, please? We don't need, we don't need this. I'm like, it makes sense in Thailand because it's doing well in Thailand with BNK, so, like, but even then, like, I said, like, I think it's still too soon for BNK to get a sister group, but this is different. This is, they're just releasing two sister groups at the same time, essentially, in India. And but they're doing even... auditions for New Del for the, for Del 40 right now, but not yet for Mumbai, yet. I think they're doing it at the same time. Oh, they're doing auditions for Mumbai? Yeah, so far I know it's only New Delhi. Yeah. Delhi 48 is doing auditions right now, but it's not would, Mumbai yet. I would assume that they're doing it at the same time, because they're supposed to be debuting at the same time. I mean, that would kind of make sense. Yeah, it's kind of like it's happening, but this time it's another group. And also, the thing about New Delhi is that New Delhi is, is the capital of India. So it's kind of like when with AKB, where they began in Akahabra, which is in Tokyo, which is the capital of Japan. So they could have began in New Delhi instead of then Mumbai after. But like uh, 48 Talk said in last week's episode, or at least what Derek said, like we don't even know if it's going to work in India, so releasing two groups at the same time is really dumb. And then AKS, or yeah, AKS being dumb. I mean, but then again, that was past AKS, we'll get on to that later. Um, Should have been using their money for security instead of overseas expansion. But like I said, former AKS, or at least the AKS of last week. But yeah, um, DEL48 is definitely stands for Delete48 for me, because I don't think it even should exist. So I'm sorry if I offend anybody with that, but I, I'm just done with these overseas groups expanding. Uh-huh. How do you guys feel? Well, we just have to wait and find out until they release their first hit single. We'll find out if the entire group will work. Yeah, I can't say anything for this either because I don't really follow the international groups as much as the main groups. And kind of like what Derek said, I have no idea if this is going to work or not since we haven't really gotten anything from either of the groups. (laughs) So I don't know. Also, uh, Michael is here, and he is very happy about something uh, we will talk about later when we get on to the Sakamichi side of the news. Uh-huh. Yes. So, 
uh, since we're done with this, right, so we can move on to the next bit of uh, some international yeah. group-related news. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's go on, uh, BNK48 released a teaser for the music video of Jabba Ja. Ah. Sorry, I didn't see it. Hmm. I'm uh, probably it. gonna wait till the video is released to find see it. It's probably gonna be great. Yeah, Sam, I'll wait until the music video is released. Yeah. Yeah. So. All right. So look <laughs> forward to when that comes out. Uh, what shall we move on to next? I guess. I mean. The other breaking news we got on AKS. Yeah. Like I guess we well, can okay move. Then. Just like I said of how. That was former AKS with dealing with these Indian expansion for the groups. So literally just today, or just what yesterday, whatever today or yesterday, AKS like completely is being reshuffled, which is a good thing. Which is actually no, it's an amazing thing I should say. And uh, the one dude um, that was. Dealing with the Mahohon case, we all saw the, the the TV thing, live thing. Yeah, he he, he got removed. Go. He got removed from justice from Mahohon. It's from AKS's thing, but apparently he's still doing Eyes of One stuff. Like I, whatever. Why um, is that guy involved with Eyes One? I, I didn't don't know, know that. I I just heard that he's still associated with Eyes One. Um, oh. and then oh. also the name. Masayori Oka, he has been appointed the AKS advisor. I heard that, like, he's from Heroes or whatever. I am not sure if, if that's and, actually And Hawaii correct. 5 as well, too. But he's he apparently like... the advisor yeah. of AKS. But if I hmm. still had to say, um, AKS is still done. It, it's too late for them, I feel. Like, obviously, this is towards the right direction. But because of that whole Mahohon situation, yeah, AKS is, like, dead. I don't care what's going to happen anymore. I don't like oh. AKS either way. But at least they're moving towards a better direction than what they were before. Mm -hmm. That's all. That, that's what I'm happy with. Oh. Your guys' opinions. Okay. Go well, ahead, I do agree with you. I do think this will be a step in the right direction for them. Uh, how much of a uh, good thing this is going to be, because again, you know, the whole Mahahon case did very much affect uh, AKS as a company. Um, I'm, I'm honestly going to try and stay at least a little bit positive that this will be a good change for the company. Mm. Oh. People are saying because the shuffle changed... It actually proves that Mahohon was right. <laughs> I mean, this is for Mahohon. <laughs> so yeah. And Michael Wait. says he uh, doesn't really care about it. He's talking through the Google chat. Uh, oh, a quick question about Matsuo Oka. But was he in staff before he they they they, 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 they he, he was promoted or he he just put in the staff? Uh, I have let me no see. idea. I think he well, was just put in. I have no idea oh, if he's even okay. part of AKS. So the things about this, I mean, like, yeah, this might change everything. And, like, maybe because I know he's famous around the world because he was on Heroes and Hawaii Five-0, maybe he could cause the, would be famous at least in North America. But, I mean, also, dude, maybe he might, I'm not sure, he might be a fan of AKB. That's interesting. He Ooh. likes AKB. Oh. And uh, he might be. And then also anything about, he's also a, a genius as well, too. He's, he's a mathematician. Okay. And he also, um, like, he at one point he was on the cover of Time Magazine at one point. Before okay. he was on Heroes. Maybe, maybe this will be a good thing. Yeah, well, so I mean, like, see. so because if a lot of people know him, maybe this will be interesting. So it's like, yeah, so, and, and this may, might could be, like, the, the big comeback for the group. Oh, let's oh. hope. Let's keep our fingers crossed. And then also, gotcha, yeah. within that, I heard that they also plan on doing their IPO within five years, which is, like, their first public offering. So, I actually like stocks. So, this is going... So, apparently, AKS is planning to become a public company because they're trying to go into the stock market within five years. Okay. So, I heard that. So, eventually... 
common people like us can have shares with an AKS. Hmm. So. Are you like an Akibu? Like you're investing stocks? Yeah, essentially. And I think there was something talks of like a joint venture company or or kind of joint venture company, a um, venture capital company. My bad. Mm-hmm. There was talks mm-hmm. something with that as well. With AKS. So yeah, there's not really that much going into depth other than AKS is changing slightly for the better, but they're still dead to me. So yeah. All right. Uh, let's move on next to how about we just go right into the multi group news? Mm-hmm. Okay. Sound good? Yeah. Sounds I was asking me. Steve. Sounds good to me. Oh, okay. Okay, so uh, first up, uh, for the uh, AKB48 Group News Magazine that was released on June the 28th, uh, SK48 Suda Akari and Matsui Jurina and AKB48 Team 8 member Kurano Narumi and Team K Captain Komiyama Haruka were the cover girls for the magazine. Yeah. Ah. I saw that Komi bought the magazine. <laughs> Probably both of the members bought the magazine too as well, yeah. And I haven't seen anything yet, but I do believe that both Akarin and Judina were interviewed about uh, SKE and for their new upcoming single uh, on the magazine. Mm-hmm. Like from the pictures of the promotion that I saw, they were wearing their uh, outfits, which uh, we'll actually get to that a bit later. I think I dropped. Yeah. Oh, okay, we got it. Uh, later. Yeah. So uh, next up, uh, Keaki Zaka and Hinata Zaka are set to join uh, TGC Toyama 2019. Let's uh-huh. see uh, when that is happening. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> that is on July the 27th. July 27th? Oh, okay. Okay. Let's see. The members are um, from Keakizaka, Kobayashi Yui, and Habu Mizuho, and from Hinatazaka, Sasuki Kumi, and Takamoto Ayaka. Uh-huh. So, yeah, definitely look forward to that. Hmm. We'll probably see it, yeah? <laughs> okay. And then. Uh-huh. Next, the 48 groups are going to be doing, are going to join Summer Station 2019, uh, which is okay. great. Uh, I think NGT is the only group that's not participating. I think. I think well, all the other ones are. Uh, no. no. Or hold on. I'll have to see. Uh. Oh, well, about NGT, so, I mean, yeah, go, go, yeah, go. Okay, so the Summer Station musical of event musical festival event will be from july 13th to august 25th um let's see last idol will be performing on the 13th uh hkt will be performing on the 14th uh akb will be on the 15th uh yoshimoto zaka will perform on the 17th of July. Uh, uh, former NMB member Watanabe Miyuki will be performing on July the 20th. Uh, Team 8 will be on the 21st. Uh, let's see. Oh, this isn't really 48 group related, but Tsubaki Factory and Beyonds will be performing on July uh, 31st. Beyonds? <laughs> yeah, Beyonds. Yeah, I thought you were saying Beyonce, but no, no, no. Yeah. No, <laughs> not Beyonce. Uh, that would Beyonce. be kind of amazing. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, and so... NMB 48 will be performing on August the 1st. Uh, Suzuki Airi, a solo mm-hmm. singer that I like, will be performing on August the 6th. Uh, Equal Love will be performing on August the 10th. SU 48 will be performing on August the 12th. Uh, Denpagumi will be performing on August the 17th, and SKE48 Team S, Team K2, and Team E will be performing on the 18th. It'll be three whole performances for them, three separately for each of the teams. Okay. 
I thought you were just gonna say SKE, okay. but without the King Kuse. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> no, it's like each of the teams are going to have their own performance. <clears throat> That's cool. SKE. They actually they released like a notice about it because um the last time that they performed at the Summer Station Music Festival. The fans were literally so loud, people were sending in noise complaints. <laughs> what? That's funny. If you live near it, then you're probably going to have all the noise from the con from the festival. So yeah, they actually released a notice for like, you know, to look like, loud. <laughs> like, That's they could so still funny. do the chants and everything, but they had to like, tone down the volume a bit. Just That's like when like, the people that live in like, in a an apartment building nearby a, a stadium. That could happen as well. Although I yeah. think the uh, event is an outdoor event, so... Yeah, yeah. Unless if it's open air, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so next... Uh, AKB48 and Nogizaka46 are set to join Ongaku no Hi. They will be performing on July the 13th. It'll be a, a live TV broadcast. Uh. So look forward to that. Mm -hmm. And uh, AKB also announced a, a joint concert with all of their overseas sister groups. Yeah. Interesting. Well, well, this is like the Asia Festival one. again. This is the second one. Mm -hmm. Earlier there. Huh. So there is going to be a JKT48, a BNK48, MNL48, a Teams H, S H and TP, and a Sai Saigon48 or SGO48. I'm, I'm surprised about SGO because like there's been no news about them whatsoever. The well, last, so they, this will be their big debut. The last time I heard about the SGO was their um auditions thing with the stupid riddle bullcrap <laughs> seriously their auditions to even like even audition you had to like solve these riddles like i didn't that's the last time i heard from sgo <laughs> but they also announced their next single too but they didn't announce the lineup yet sgo yeah they did they just did the announcer they said in a tweet that they're gonna release their next single but they didn't announce the lineup yet but before that happened in the last week of 48 talk, they were like saying that um, that maybe they haven't been much news from SGO. And then like after that happened, they announced the single. It's probably like if ACAS is watching their show. It's the 48 talk curse. They release yeah. big news Literally. right after they finish recording. So this is their debut <laughs> single that they're releasing. Yeah, their debut single. Like they, they haven't were released a single yet. Because the way they announced... made it sound like, it sounded like they had a single before Garrison. Oh, no, I mean, like, they announced the single, but they didn't announce the lineup yet. Oh, okay. Okay, so the uh, the mm -hmm. joint concert will be on August the 24th. And it's in Shanghai. Oh, yeah, it is in Shanghai. Yeah, Shanghai. Mm. Okay. okay, next. Uh, some of the uh, 48 groups and uh, the Nogizaka 4th Gen are set to join uh, at Jam Expo. Mm -hmm. I'll pull up uh, what the lineup for that is now. Mm -hmm. So there's going to be an AKB48 Fresh Senbatsu, which I will uh, announce those members uh, in just a bit. Then there will be a Team 8... Uh, SKE, HKT, NMB, STU, and also Last Idol mm -hmm. will be participating on the show on August the 24th. Uh, the Nogizaka 4th Gen members, as well as Equal Love, Not Equal Me, um, Nanabu no Niju Ni, and uh, Beyond, which is a Hello Project unit, will be performing on August the 25th. But you said August the twenty fourth. Yeah. But when is the the group concert? August twenty fourth. But that's why they're doing the fresh senbatsu because oh, all the main members okay, are going to be going to Shanghai. Okay, that's how I just got confused for a second. I'm like, wait, 
that's the same day. How is that possible? Ah, uh, okay, okay, that makes sense. Okay, so for the fresh Senbatsu lineup, we have uh, from Team A, uh, Taguchi Manaka, Chiba Eri, Maeda Ayaka, and Yamane Suzuha. Mm -hmm. From Team K, we have Nagatomo Ayami, Muto Odin, and Yasuda Kana. Mm -hmm. uh, from Team B, we have Yamabe Ayu. From Team 4, we have Kurosu Haruka and Tara Kyoka. And from the Kenkyusei, we have Ishiwata Sena, Otake Hitomi, Kobayashi Dan, Saito Haruna, Sato Minami, and Michieda Saki. Mm -hmm. okay. Half of those names, I do not know who they are, but uh, congratulations to all of them for making me... Uh, fresh Senbatsu lineup for this event. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hopefully this goes into the direction where I wanted it to go. Mm. Singh has kind of almost half of those members I think were in my lineup. At least, at least mm -hmm. one-fourth of those members. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Alright, next... Uh... Eyes One, Nogizaka, and Hinatazaka are set to join uh, FNS Music Fest. Mm. FNS! Can't mm. wait for it. Mm -hmm. Those collaborations! Uh, that will be aired on July 24th. Ah, uh, yeah. Really? I thought it usually happens later in the year. Oh my. No, they do the uh, the summer one and, the, and then the, the, the Christmas one. Oh, okay, I'm yeah. thinking of the Christmas one usually. The one in the okay. Yeah. Summer music specials happening mm. right now. Yep. Uh, next up, uh, Nogizaka, Keakizaka, and Hinatazaka are set to appear on TV Tokyo's yearly music festival. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, that already happened. Okay. Michael is letting us know that that already happened. Oh. Hmm. And that was aired on TV. I wonder, was that the one where uh, they did the Yui Pon Center Silent Majority? Hmm, Correct me if I'm wrong. Where they do like the 100 songs? That, what, that one? Yeah, 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 they said they did, yeah. That's the one. Okay, I did see the clip of Keakizaka performing uh, Silent Majority, and it was a Yui Pon Center, which was really cool to see. Mm hmm. And then also AKB48 did 365 Days of Paper Planes. Oh yeah, they were in that too. Yeah, yeah I remember were. that. And then there was that also that performance from W2 that was interesting. W, a Hello Project group. Oh, okay. And uh, Hinatazaka also did Doremi Solacido for the first time. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, so next up, uh, this is something currently going on, but uh, the 48 groups are holding a showroom pop teen uh, competition event. Uh, uh, Jerson, you know a bit more about this, so you can oh, let yeah. us know. Yeah, hold on. So in the showroom competition they're doing right now, they are, well, all of the concuses from MMB48, the 5th, like, oh yeah, the 6th gen, and uh, the HKT48 concuses, the 5th gen, and the new S ninth gen of SKE forty eight. So, with this thing in this competition, the top five members that are ranked in this competition will get to be on the cover of Pop Teen magazine. So it's like this could be a big boost for them. But also, I mean, with these new members and these uh, groups, I mean, this could be like possibly be like the future of AKB forty eight probably. Mm -hmm. But I'll go quickly to the. Uh, and it, I mean, it's definitely it, 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 the future for the respective groups because uh, SKE the ninth gen have been doing really well. Like a lot of the members have been undering for the uh, stage shows for oh, yeah. the respective teams. Like I've seen like a couple of Ken Kusei appear regularly in Team S as mm. unders, and I mm. know there are a couple who are doing uh, Team K two and Team E, and of course they're doing the Station Girls concert because that's. Oh, yeah. That's kind of like a mix of it. It was originally Ken Kyusei, but... Huh. Uh, you know what I mean. But 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, for, for, there's only one Ken Kusei who's participating in the competition, and that's oh, uh, Iryu Tijima Sayaka. Oh, Sayaka, yeah, and she's number one right now, actually. Which is nice! Cool. Oh, and also, I mean, interesting, the, the, the ninth gen were also on, seen on SK Bingo, too, and even on the after show, too. <laughs> Sorry, that was loud. Oh, yeah, no, but so, I know I know some of the members, I know Yuruka, you know, one of the, of the, mem of the King QC is in SKE. I found yeah, her. she's, she's the only one who's, uh, participating in the competition, that one, uh, SKE King QC. Yeah, and, uh, okay, so quickly, the results of the, of the, uh, tour of competition, so far, as of 1221 PM, PST, in first place, as we said, uh, SKE 48 second, Gary Pidge Jews in first, Number two, MMB 48's Momoka Horiana. Number three, SK, well, I mean, MMB 48's Mario Gono. Number four, Karen Hara. Number MMB as well. Number five, MMB 48's Rina Koyashi. Number six, MMB 48's Baron Shobu. Number seven, and eight and nine are um, HKT King Kusei's. And number 10, MMB 48's Haruka Sadano. Okay. MMB is doing very well right now, actually, which is good. Uh -huh. Yeah, I actually. So go watch, watch the showrooms. The SK Kenkyusei showrooms. I watched a couple. Hmm. Oh, what are your thoughts on them? Showrooms. The two I'm... that I mainly mm. follow are Kayanyan and Yukino. Hmm. So far, in the I saw I talked to three of the members. So I talked to Ymir and uh, Marin and other members. They're, they're they were all great, and they thanked me for giving them their com com them comments to them. Hmm. Okay. But I do right, think it was so... a good idea, and um, it's kind of funny because in our Discord I see in the NMB channel that they're having like bad blood. <laughs> they're like, "We need <laughs> to win against this SKE girl. Why?" <laughs> <laughs> like they're upset. It's in the, the NMB SKE channel. NMB rivalry <laughs> coming back. I'm just noticing that. Yeah, happening again. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I just found goodness. it really funny because as an SKE fan, when I'm when I'm looking at the chat and they're like, "We can't allow this to happen." <laughs> it's just really what? funny, and they're wow. beating, the, and they're beating the fifth gen of HKT right now. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, and then something that All I'm right, so... really excited about is that Kiyakizaka and Natazaka are going to get a their own music game. Yes, I'm so Woo! happy. I'm so happy. Uh... I can't wait. For this to come out and for me to download this app. Mm -hmm. Let's see. They released two um, teaser trailers for uh, Hinata Zaka and Kaki Zaka, respectively. Mm. It um mm. it looks as if they are like divided into parts. Like there's one out of seven, and then there's. Mm. So yeah, that looks very interesting. Uh, do we have any idea when the actual game is going to come out? I didn't hear anything, but Mike might have heard. I'm not sure. But yeah, uh -huh. I'm just wondering if this is probably going to be similar to what um, Nogi Fest and AK Beat Carnival is. I would assume if it's going to be a rhythm game, it's going to be similar uh -huh. to that. Uh, and maybe also original songs too, maybe for the game too as well, maybe? Maybe mm -hmm. original songs? Doubt it. You doubt it? Mm. You doubt yeah. it, Mike? Yeah. Oh. See, I, if you're saying that's going to become in parts, this is kind of what I wish that AK uh, Beat Carnival was like, because I remember when they first announced the game, they're like, yeah, we're the sister groups are also going to be in there. And then look at <laughs> it, there's no sister group songs. <laughs> and there's barely any sister maybe. group cards. Maybe because of copyright, because the other are under no. different labels? Oh. That kind of stinks. It's kind of like oh. when I mean, I Otage heard... was sorry, out. They, no, sorry. When Otage was out, they had like each of the groups where you can like pick what section yeah. that you could. And they had each of all those groups' songs within that section. That's what I wanted oh. for Beat Carnival. But, you know, oh. of course not. Just AKB. Um, I was going <laughs> to say... Um, Oh, oh well, I, I mean at least SK has passion for you. Yeah. Uh, Although I don't know if it's a music game. No, it's not. It's a card game. Um, 
Going back to Hinata. Okay, uh, okay. next up. Wait, okay. wait. Ruka, Mike's talking. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sorry. He He's talking? Where? Yeah, he's on. You can hear him now. Oh, boy. <laughs> Ruka yeah. can't hear Mike. <laughs> oh, okay, hold on. I'll refresh it. <laughs> Uh, anyway, Michael, how are you? Uh, I'm alright, thank you. Um, oh, good. What was I gonna say again? I was gonna I say there know. was t there was talks about there being a beta testing. Oh, okay. In at the uh, character's new game. I don't know when that will be though. But all yeah. right, I hear you now, Michael. Okay, so there's gonna be a beta test for it. All right. Yeah, but I don't know when. I don't and know then... if it's an IRL thing. And then again, really fast, I guess in. Game news. Um, for Kiyokise, it looks like they're gonna be adding uh, the second, second gen, gen kanji and members then... and Kinano soon. Yep. Based on the internet. I've been collecting tickets for that. Like, there's no tomorrow. The only tickets cool. I have been collecting are doing like, ten and fifteen things per day because I'm saving my mm. shields. Also, but anyways, there's a new event. Yeah. Going on, oh. Ruka. What you were going to say before? <laughs> Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't hear you, uh, Michael. Uh, that's alright. So, uh, AKB48 and Nogizaka46 are going to have a joint performance on Music Day. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, and Nogis, that's gonna be interesting. What? So, uh, reading some of the information on the performance, uh, mus the Music Day will have a special medley session uh, they do this every year where they invite artists to perform Japanese classic songs. Uh, this year, AKB48 and Nogizaka46 will perform uh, Hadashide Summer together Ooh. in uh, the Historical Idols medley. Uh, classic Nogi song, let's say. Uh, mm -hmm. And both AKB and Nogi in the same performance. Uh, they got that rivalry as well, too. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I was gonna say, people were expecting Kayakazaku to join Music Day, but it's actually at the same day, on the same day as uh, Republic of Kayaki, so. Ah, uh, that oh. makes sense. Yeah. Mm. Oh, well. Alright, so look forward to that. Mm. I'm actually hyped about this last one. Last bit of go and announce it then, Mike. Multi group music. Go, go and announce um, it. So, the fifth part of the zombie project, which is the haunted attraction Zombie the thing. Room. <laughs> zombie the Ride. Yeah. Um, they had a showroom today revealing all the most, most of the members involved in it. <clears throat> I don't know much about the Noggy members involved, but. Uh, hold on. Just one second. Let's see. I'm looking at the list now. It looks like the, uh, fourth gen are in the cast. The Nogi fourth gen. Uh, yeah, most of third gen and all of fourth gen Nogi. And then the Keki and Hinata members are the members who used to, uh, who did both stage plays as well. So. Okay. I saw Perico was in the lineup. Is... Yeah. Huh? As of now, this list is tentative. They will probably change it, add members as. Yeah, because I was about them. to say, this is a lot of members to have for a haunted attraction ride. Although now I'm looking at the schedule and it says that they're all going to be on different days, which makes more sense. Mm -hmm. Let's rotate the members in the ride. Uh, it's, yeah, like, it's, it's like it's like it split. Mm. It's split no, depending it's like, on group. It's like a very realistic experience. It's like if you're actually in the show, Zambi. <laughs> I'm confused because there's like <laughs> 24 Nogi members, whereas like only six Hinata and seven Kaeki members. So I'm hoping they add more <laughs> Kaeki and Hinata members. <laughs> But well, I mean, Kei and Hinatazaka have both been pretty busy. And, like, the zombie yes. project, it did technically kind of start with Nogizaka. Mm, that's true. It, like, the drama was the first one that happened, right? No, I think the stage, the first, stage play, play first. Yeah, play first, play first, then show, and then play again. Yeah. And then the ride. 
No, there's a game as well. Then. Okay, but oh, I, yeah, feel the game like, too, yeah. I feel like the drama was the first thing that was announced. Because no, they had released, like, a trailer for it that had the Nogi oh. members be the focus. I, oh, I no, it's the project. It. Yeah, like... There was... No, because the stage play was the f- first part that was I think announced. the preview was for the, the actual project overall, I think. Yeah. And then, okay. and then they had the play, and, the, the show, and, the, and the show, and the game, and then the ride. No. Uh, okay, then. in between, too, but okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's a huge project. It's all very confusing. Like what came first, the chicken or the egg? <laughs> Are we announcing the members or? <laughs> we will. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Let's do that. Um, I don't have the list on me. I think. Okay, I'll do it. So, uh, for Hina Tazaka, we have Ushio Sarina, Kato Shiho, Saito Kyoko, Sasaki Kumi, Kosaka Nao, and Matsuda Konoka. Mm-hmm. For Kea Kizaka, we have Ishimori Nijika, Oronana, Kobayashi Yui, uh, Sugai Yuka, Moria Akane, Habu Mizuho, and Watanabe Rika. Man. Man. Merika. And for Nogizaka 46, we have Ito Riria, Iwamoto Renka, Umezawa Minami, Kubo Shiori, Sakaguchi Ta- Tamami? Tamami. Yep. Sato yeah, Kaede, Nakamura Reno, Yamashita Mizuki, uh, Yoshida Ayano Christie. I, I love saying that name. <laughs> and then uh, the fourth gen members uh, Endo Sakura, Kaki Haruka, Kakeashi Sayaka, Kanagawa Saya, Kitagawa Yuri, Shibata Yuna, Seimiya Rei, Tamura Mayu, Tsutsui Ayame. Hayakawa Seira and Yakubo Mio. Uh-huh. I kind of want to get into Nogi. <laughs> get into Nogi. Off topic. <laughs> I've got no time. <laughs> so, on the topic of the schedule for the event, uh, Nogi Zaka will appear on July 31st, August 4th, 7th, 9th, and 11th. Uh, Keakizaka will appear on August the 3rd, 5th, 8th, and the 10th. And Hinatazaka will appear on August the 1st, 2nd, and 4th. I think it makes sense that Keaki have less slots because they've got their summer tour coming up as well around the <laughs> same time. <laughs> Plus they'd have to go to... Some- the first stop of the tour is in Sendai as well, so long <laughs> travel. Mm-hmm. So, Hinata okay. would probably be busy too. Yeah, Unless because it... they have a Three one slot. month day than Keakizaka. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh Unless God. if a schedule change happens, maybe they'll surprisingly appear, maybe unannounced. We'll wait and find out. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh. Then I guess I'll get the, I'll just do the Nanabu and the Niji news, if that's mm. fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so uh, I think it was last week, sometime last week, uh, Sally announced on her blog that she will not be participating in handshake events, meet and greets, and high touch events, or just any events that yeah. involve other people. Me, yeah. I guess. Me, I guess. People. Uh, this is a result of her um, social anxiety disorder that she announced that she had, and this was advised by her doctor that she take a break from mm. from it. So yeah, she announced it on her blog, as far as I know. Yeah, like, she announced it on her blog. Ago. So oh. I'm, we're all hoping Sally yeah, well to get soon, better. Sally. Mm-hmm. It came out soon, Sally. If you're watching this. Episode? <laughs> mm. Yeah. And um, then, I, is it fine if we go to the other idol news? Sure, sure. Is it, okay. Is that fine? Okay, so starting off with the other idol news, um, granted this is within the two-week time span, and there obviously there should be a lot more news, but shame on me. But um, <laughs> first of all, Denpengumi Inc. released a new music video, Keiji... Jogaku Takimaho. And all I have to say is that this music video is a lot better. 
<laughs> then <laughs> their, their Gyaru or Gangoro, I should say, the Gangoro music video from before. Yeah, definitely a big improvement on that, on that side. Um, and then going on to Gang Parade, they released their new EP, The Music and the Game Creates Magic, on Spotify. So if you have a Spotify, you can go listen to it. I believe it, you can probably purchase it physically as well, I'm not sure, but I know that it is on Spotify, and they have four new songs within the lineup. Uh, those songs being Antoni Bokuga Iki Takata no wa Kona Jamun Mue. God, I'm. That was terrible. I'm sorry. Um, F Your Disco, um, Karada Emotion, and Daylight. Those songs. So, I listened to the EP. I like it. Um, I forgot, there was one song that kind of had, like, a rapish part in it, I think, if I remember correctly. That was my favorite song. <clears throat> but yeah, overall, the EP is from, it's pretty good, from Game Parade. Mm -hmm. I think then... I hear some noise, actually, for a few seconds. Hmm? It's either from Michael, oh, oh, Michael, oh. okay, And then, just yesterday, um, Bish's... Hashi Yasume, wait, Hashi Yasume, Atsuko, my favorite member from Bish, released, uh, had like her solo debut music video, <laughs> uh, a la mode, with uh, Bish as the background dancers, and uh, the video and song are wacky. It's, it's kind of, it's really funny. I know I linked it to you guys, I don't know if you guys actually saw the video. I haven't seen it. No, you haven't. I haven't seen it yet. But, it, like... Bish just never ceases to amaze me. It's just, it, it was funny. It's a funny music video. <laughs> so I would recommend you guys go watch that as well. And then, um, you can announce the next two, Ruka, because I think you put those in. Yeah, that was <clears throat> me. So, uh, first off, the uh, Wagaki Band has uh, signed with mm. Universal Music. So, uh, yeah, okay. after their deal with AVEX expired, they have signed with the music label uh, Universal Music Japan. And they are also going to launch an official site uh, today. It actually launched today. So they're moving to a new record label. That's great. So, yeah, I actually really enjoy the Wagaki Band. I have heard some of their covers. Of songs like Zenbon Zakura and Tengaku. I think their music is super cool. Well, Zenbon Zakura is their most iconic one. So. Yeah. Oh, and since they're moving, that means they have, they're probably more accessible now because I know with Avex, they usually don't release the full videos of most of their songs on their YouTube. Well, let's hope so. Yeah, yeah. More accessible. That's good. Mm -hmm. And then next, uh, for Fairies, they released uh, the uh, short version of their music video for Change My Life, which is mm -hmm. really cool, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. They got some really cool uh, camera angles, actually, in that one, mm -hmm. from where they were filming. So mm -hmm. definitely recommend check that out. Then I definitely recommend you guys checking this out. Um, definitely a lot. So, Ryan Berry just released oh. their final live show on YouTube. One for all, all for one. And it is the full, their full final concert and that they did. So, that whole thing is out. So, go go watch that. I still have yet to watch it, but I plan on watching, watching it. Because I know that Ryan Berry was kind of one of the more well-known <laughs> underground idol groups. So... Yeah. And then in other underground other news, um, there is a new group called Screw You, so I'm thinking kind of interested. I can hear somebody's TV, that's really loud. I can hear that too. But... Michael, Mike, is that, that on your end? Mike, is that on your end? You, you, you could uh, mute the audio if you listen. Mike. Did Mike leave? You probably could mute. <laughs> I, uh, I think um, he's still here. You can, you can mute your audio for a few seconds and fix your audio. I mean, sure. 
Okay, so now you'll only be hearing me right now within this video for the YouTube. So, Screw You released their debut video, uh, or de debut song, Egoist. Um, it's a pretty alright, decent song. So, I would definitely go listen to it, especially because they're now debuting. So, they're a new group. So, it'd be nice if they can get some new fans. Okay, so, and then also... Um, the new Biss just released their first new song called, uh, Stupid, from their album I believe it is from, and, eh, it's a pretty alright song, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> well, they have interesting names of their songs. Interesting names. And then for the last two other idol news, um... So, within this past two weeks, huh. Morning Musume 19 uh, announced three new members would join, which means that these three new members are the 15th gen members. Um, they did this through a live stream on their YouTube. Uh, I didn't watch the live stream, but I ended up watching the, the first part of the live stream, because I know there's two parts. So, for the three huh. 15th gens, the first one is Okamura... Homare, she's 14 and from Tokyo. Uh, she got through with the love audition that they had. Um, the second member, uh -huh. Kitagawa Ryo, she's 15, also from Tokyo, and also joined from the love audition. And then the third member is Yamazaki Mei. 13 from Hokkaido and she was promoted from a Hello Project trainee. So yeah. All right, cool. Well, I mean, Morning Musume has 15 gens, so that's almost as old as AKB though. I know Morning Musume is a bit older than AKB in years actually. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um and then in the final idol other idol news, I mean, this group is kind of like a mix. I figure they're kind of like a mix of things. So, Baby yeah. Metal, they just announced their third album, uh, Metal Galaxy. And then they also announced a UK tour in February 2020. Could you bring up the link for the hey. dates, Ruka, for that? Oh, yeah. Sorry for the I just actually weird. go to one. Oh, didn't they also release a music video for one of the songs in the album as well, too, just um, now? Did they? I think they did, my bad. I, yeah, they also released... I think the song yeah. began with an Y, if I remember correctly. I'm oh. I'm not really too big into baby metal, although baby metal did get me into bandmade, which makes me really happy, but I don't really listen to baby metal. Oh, well, one of the yes, members yes, left the group, I think. Okay, so the dates yes. are... Um, on the uh, 19th, they're going to be at Glasgow Barland. Uh, oh, I don't know what that is. So that's on February twentieth, cool. they're going to be on Cardiff Great Hall, Wales. On the twenty second, they're going to be at Manchester O2 Apollo. And then on the twenty third, they're going to be at London, Even Tim Apollo Hammersmith. I'm sorry if I said it wrong. I think I'll be able to go to that one. <laughs> Like well, I said, these are all happening in February 2020, so. And yep. then also, mm. apparently Baby Metal also has, like, apparently, like, third member. Obviously, we know that the third member of the group left, but they have, like, kind of these rotating members, I think, replacing her, I think, from what I've heard. I'm not sure, because I'm not really big into Baby Metal. And one was an ex morning Musume oh. member. One of the yeah, so I... sorry, Gruka, you cut out for a second. Sashi, we hope. Yes. Oh. Okay. Then oh. we, so can go... cheating off to be... we can You're... go on to whatever Wait, you guys want to go yeah. on to next. Okay. Sure, okay. sure. I can do that. I'll see that here. Yeah. Wait, what are we doing? I'm. The... I'm... Hinata Zeka. Okay. I'm sorry. Hinata Zeka. 
sounded laggy. I'm sorry about that. Okay. Hold on. Yeah. Big news I was hyped about earlier is that the group are released group photo. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mike. For whatever reason, you're like wagging for me for like. He's coming in fine. For yeah, me. He's but, going to. But through my me, end, it's not, and the video is going to be coming through my end. Like it's going to be cutting out. I don't know why that's happening. Okay. Basically, he said that uh, Nogizako first. Like it seems like everyone's cutting out for me. Police on technical page. problems. I don't know. Yeah, he said he's gonna type it out for you. I mean, I can't even look at it, anyways. Uh, there was one that was released for it. Um, he shared it through the Discord. It was the uh, Okay. Ruka. was shot at Okinawa. Okay. Ruka. I'm gonna I'm gonna edit this video. I'm yeah. gonna stop it and then come and join back again because like I'm saying, like it's like lagging for you guys. Like you guys are cutting in and out for me. Oh, oh. So, so so start taking a break? I mean you guys can go ahead and I wanna see if it continues. Oh, keep on going? Record. Okay, let's, yeah, let's, just, let's do that and, and continue. It just save time, save time, yeah. Okay. Keep on going, yep. Yeah. So, yeah, it was a campfire type video. Oh. And from what I read, some of the older members might actually have some lingerie shots. Ooh! So. <laughs> wait, wait, they're, they're, wait, is this a, like, they're filming a music video in this? No, no, it's, it's a, a group, photo no, book. It's a group photo book. Oh, the photo book. Okay, I thought you were talking about. Oh, yeah. oh so okay. God <sighs> damn it! I just had my Oshman's, my Kirky <laughs> Oshman's photo book released a few days ago. Now this. Hey, everything like, seems to be better now. So. <laughs> also, it's without Kakizaki, Memi, and Kageyama Yuka. Just. Oh yeah. And the big news. Oof. How about we go into that since you brought that up? Okay, Mike, yeah, yeah. I'll just say um, Wait, you were correct to um, worry about huh? that member. Oh, Memi. Memi. Yeah, you were, yeah, you were she... correct to worry. Yeah, she announced her graduation a week or so ago. <laughs> um, she stated that uh, one of the reasons was because her... Not only her physical health has been on the decline, but her mental health as well. So, mm -hmm. not only that, uh, she on her announcement vlog, she uh, mentioned thinking about university as well, which is mm -hmm. not that far off for her. Yeah, she's 17, so she's still young. Yeah, she's turning 18 in December. But... We're all going to miss I am 17 years oh. old. Every single year, she changes it. <laughs> uh, uh, on, on the topic of hell. Right? <laughs> um, uh -oh. Oh, god damn it. Another Hinata Zaka <laughs> member announced... Uh, another Hinata Zaka member announced hiatus for health reasons, and that's uh, second generation member Hamagichi Hiyori. Uh, she said she'll stop in the middle of second single promotion. Um, she referenced her last appearance being on a second single hit campaign, which I think is for Hinata Zaka de Aima So, that makes I'm assuming that will air fairly soon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pa pardon whoever burped. <laughs> Just that was me, sorry about that, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, I guess getting into the single now, I guess more or less. So first, um, Doremi uh, surpassed 3,000 million views yeah. on their YouTube music video. Mm -hmm. Woo! Oh, that's, that's, um, the 
covers were revealed, but I still haven't seen the covers yet. So oh, I, I saw know. them actually. I, I kind of like them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they all look. Yeah. And then yeah. the music videos for Kitsune and Yasashisaga Jama Wasuru um, have been released as well. Do you want to talk mm. about those really fast? I don't yeah, yeah, know sure. which one I want to get into, but... Uh, how about Kitsune first? Yeah, Kitsune, yeah. Kitsune is not my type of song, personally. Because it looks like an AKB48 video? No, it's... It's more like the song, more than the music video. The music video uh, was cute. It's just uh, the song sounds a bit too much like... For me, it sounds a bit, a bit too much like high tension. Yeah, it was, it was like a high tension, yeah, and the little dance, like... So, I mean, sure. <laughs> uh, huh. Um, out of this song so far, hmm? I, I like it the least. Uh, uh, Kumi yeah. was great in it too, as well. I'll have to personally agree with that, Mike. Uh, but with the music video, I couldn't pay attention to it for whatever reason, so... <laughs> so, like, I didn't, didn't really watch it, because I couldn't really pay attention. Uh... But, the, but the beginning of the video kind of looked a bit similar to the beginning of Kyun, like, when they showed the title of the song, like, the text kind of looks the same as the text mm -hmm. in Kyun at the beginning of the not video? Not really. Not really. No, not really. No, not different, yeah. As in the text. Yeah, no, not even the text, I'd say. But... Ah, I know, yeah. Uh, I like, uh, yes, I saw the demo was sitting. I'm gonna mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, there were some really good, like, wide-angle location shots mm -hmm. from where they filmed. Yeah. I was like, wait, are these places real? Can I just say, though, in terms of the song, <laughs> like, I genuinely thought this vocal order was, like, Tatoshi, the Hinano, the Miho, but that was the <laughs> other way around. It was Miho, the Hinano. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, like, I, I, I think Miho's voice is rather, like, on the low, like, when she sings, it's rather on the low side, but no. Mm. Surprise, surprise me. Uh, <laughs> I do oh. like, I do like both the music video and the song better than Kitsune. Mm. That's yeah. just my personal opinion. I mean, oh. I also have to agree on that. Mm -hmm. Obviously, well. that song was official tracks, yeah. But as I said before about that, is that like the video is that like as it, I, I like film and the interesting about the video that it was shot on films. I, I kind of see the great video look really great. Oh, okay. It kind of looks, uh, has that film look, kind of like your Hazo Korea look. Uh, for those of you, uh, for those who don't know, um, yes, I, I can't say it anymore. Yes, I forgot. Although well, Jamo was sitting with signs like Hatoshiho. Tanabe Miho and Kamimura Hinano. Mm -hmm. and then, I'm actually happy with this next song. Oh I yeah, like I'm really happy with this I'm next really song. I'm really happy with this song. Yeah, me too. Really I really happy. like this one. I wish this is was it, the main song. Is it My God? <laughs> no, no, it's Cage. No, it's oh, Cage. Cage. Oh, oh. oh okay, Cage. Oh, so, Higashimura Mei, Nibu Akari, Kanemura Miku and Kawate Hina's unit song in this single. Hmm. I was honestly surprised that this song ended up like, well, what it ended up being. Ah, oh, it's so it's good! <laughs> it's so good. The speaking parts at the beginning, though, like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like that. I don't know why. Like this is probably my favorite Hinata Zaka songs so far within the within the two singles. <laughs> it's just so good. It's good. And it's the type of song that I like too, so. And we uh, now just have the music video, which probably will be released tomorrow, maybe. I mean, it makes it better for me that my Oshiman is in the song. Like, one of the main things. Oh, yeah, you're, song, you're so Oshi's like, name, I am. So, like, I'm... That's all the better. <laughs> uh, all then, of the Hinata news. No, not all of it. There's so, one left. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> I really need to catch up with Hina Bingo. Let alone Hina Bingo 2. Yes! The Hina yes, Bingo. They announced Hina Bingo 2 has been confirmed. I think it starts on the same day as the single release, or is it the day before? Usually it's on Monday, usually. Yeah, I'm on looking it up right now. It will air on July 16th. The day before the single releases. That's oh. amazing. Yeah, uh, I get it. Yeah, it's kind of like two things. Like it's like if like the season is not. We just get a break before, or it's kind of like we're getting next season immediately. Hmm. Yeah. Just like everyone okay. else, like I still have to catch up to Hina Bingo because I'm waiting for the subs. Same. And like they so, only have like I think five or four episodes that are subbed for their first Hina Bingo, and it kind of shocked me when I heard that they were getting a second season immediately after because I would have thought that Nogi Bingo or Kea Bingo would have been announced. Or M M Bingo. Yeah. Kea Bingo. M M Bingo. <laughs> I mean, yeah. uh, another SKE bingo. Actually, would have made. I mean, I would, I would love if there was a season two of SKE bingo. I mean, it would I would make love sense that personally, NMB but bingo, or okay. NM bingo would have happened because. Uh, or maybe even well, like I mean... a, another season of Stew bingo. Yeah, that works too. Yeah. But like, yeah. I just wasn't expecting a second season of Hino bingo just right away. Hmm. But it's weird because if you combine the first two scenes of Hina Bingo, it's pretty much like an entire season. It's like, other than AK Bingo being like the longest season of, it, of all the Bingo series, because it's like, get 22 episodes of, of Hina Bingo and, and Hina Room 2. Okay. It has 11 episodes. Yeah, okay. Alright, so since we're on the Sakamichi side, let's move on to Keakizaka news. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, then you can go. He's a Kayakizaka oh. news. Yeah, Kayakizaka. So, uh, first off, uh, Nagam Nagahama Neru will not be participating in the Kayaki Republic 2019 event. Even though she has um, official goods for Kayaki Republic. What? <laughs> Really confused Wait, me. When is when is Neru graduating? Uh, she's gonna uh, hold week. a uh, solo graduation no, event week after. on July the thirtieth. The thirtieth at the Makahari Mesa. But wait, when did you say her official graduation was? The event is on the fourteenth of July, which is a week before Memi graduates as well. So crazy. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't re there is a time there is a name to this event that I cannot remember for the sake of me <laughs> okay so next uh, Keakizaka have announced a 2019 national tour I'm actually happy about this at least they're doing something <laughs> Possibly announce the next single during the tour or Kiaki Republic, which we'll talk later. Mm, maybe. So mm. first they are going to perform at uh, Zibio, I don't know how you pronounce that, Arena Sendai in Miyagi on August oh. the 16th, 17th, and 18th. Then they oh, will actually... perform at the Yokohama Arena in Kanagawa on August 22nd and 23rd. Then they'll be at the Osaka Jo Hall in Osaka on August 27th and 28th. And then they will be at the Fukuoka Convention Center in Fukuoka on September 4th, 5th, and 6th. I'm actually happy to get to go to like Sendai again because it's been like two years since they've last been to Sendai. Places like Sendai and Fukuoka. So. Mm -hmm. And obviously, meaning some members get to go back home. Yeah. Like Ishimori Nen, Michiko, and then... Seki. No, as well as Seki and Morita, who are both from Fukuoka. That's right. So. That's right. 
Okay, I'm actually happy about this because I've been wanting to see this since last year. <laughs> someone else, someone else. Oh, I'll do it. Uh, Kanki Republic 2018 will have a Blu ray yes. DVD release on August the 14th. Mm -hmm. Yes! A full year after. Just for that opening. <laughs> 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 okay. Huh? Well, I guess moving on to Nogi news. I guess. So, uh -huh. um, let's see. So they, so for the second documentary, they revealed the title and poster for it, as well as the theme song for the documentary. And the trailer too, as well too. Oh. Yeah, and trailer. My bad. Mm -hmm. um, still have okay. yet to see any of it, so. So, uh, <laughs> the documentary uh, title is called Itsunomanika Koko ni Iru. Okay. Uh, it will be focused uh, mainly on Nogizaka's activities from 2017 to 2019, which is the current point. Uh, the poster is, uh, I believe this was footage from uh, Nishino Nanase's graduation concert because it's uh, Nanase and my hugging. Mm. It's actually a really sweet photo. Yeah, it looks like a poster for a drama film. And they were actually a pretty prominent focus on the trailer too because obviously Nanase's graduation was a huge uh, thing that happened for Nogizaka. Yeah. I have a question about that. I mean, but the but that do you think that Nanese Nishina would be the Askamida of the group? Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, I guess. Wait, what about Rina? Way to put her. Because, but what about Rina Ikama as well? I mean, the only thing because they're graduate because Rina happened at uh, Budokan and Nanase's happened at uh, Osaka Stadium, which is kind of because. When they do any well, I mean, with Rena's, they could have did it at Tokyo. To well, Iko Rena was like she was the original, yeah. you know, considered the ace of the group because she centered for the first few singles. But yeah. then as time passed, she went more to the back and was like more supporting the group with more members going to the front. Hmm. So well, so so, but that who do you think would be the Askamida of the group? Do you think? Need well, I Nanase. I would say in a sense, Nanase. Yeah. Nanase. Uh... But unless we have the future, we got Asuka, Saito, and Raisha Raish. Yeah. And um, the theme song for uh, the documentary is called uh, Boku no Koto Shitteru, which means, Do You Know About Me? Mm. That's... I had to do a double take actually because it sounded really similar to SKE song Boku wa Shiteru. <laughs> That's it's which means like I that. know. Now I started singing. Okay. All right, moving on before we all start singing. <laughs> uh, let's see. Ozono Momoko will be absent from the upcoming national tour due to poor health. And um, also, this was a recent update. Uh, Inoue Sayuri is also not going to be participating because she is having back pains. Mm. So both of them hope they get better soon. Yep. Let's see. The uh, artwork for the Nogizaka uh, tour book has been uh, unveiled. Did uh, you guys look at that? No. I didn't see anything. Mm. Um, I just saw it, I think. I think I saw it. It's uh, pretty simple. The members are all dressed in uh, white outfits. like Yeah, I did see white. that, yeah. Looks great. Some of them look really pretty, actually. Uh, uh let's see. Fuda Sayuri news. Uh, first off, she has joined uh, Instagram under uh, Matsumura underscore Sayuri underscore official. Huh? And she has also uh, landed her first movie role in a movie called uh, Tokyo Wine Party People. Tokyo Wine Party People. 
Press. Hmm. If you, well, yeah, that's an interesting film. Okay. Hmm. So yeah, the uh, movie will premiere on October the 4th. That's on my birthday. Whoa, cool. Interesting. Oh, and the same day as SK, as well as SK Bingo, look me first see SK Bingo will be released all on the same day. Oh yeah, that's when the DVD's coming out, isn't it? Yeah, the box set. Yeah, yeah, same day too. Nice. Oh, good. Okay. Then this upcoming one is kind of neat, I'm not gonna lie. So, NTV let fans know that they could watch Nogi Zaka in their homes. And what I mean by that, Nogi Zaka is going to be through an AR thing, through the TV or whatever. Ooh. Yeah. I'm not going to lie, that sounds kind of interesting. I mean, it's not just Nogi Zaka. I think there's a couple other performers as well that yeah. this is going to happen with. But that's this pretty from? interesting. Yeah, uh, for Nippon TV's annual music show, the Music Day 2019 will be aired uh, next oh, Saturday. Yeah. So let's see, that was posted on June the 29th, so uh, I believe that is this coming Saturday, uh, the 6th. Oh, that's also when Turkey Republic starts. So it will be a uh, augmented reality uh, which they can use on a uh, mobile app called Mixta mm -hmm. AR, mm -hmm. so that Nogizaka will be able to appear uh, in their home. Yeah, that's really interesting. It's like they're watching it with you. I mean, this is the future. I'm telling you, like this. Is <laughs> yeah, this is the future. Where you can just have your idols dance in your home through augmented reality. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then also for the last Nogi Zaka news, they announced that their Shanghai tour is gonna be, or concert, their Shanghai concert is gonna be in sometime in October. I think you have the date for that, Ruka. Right? Uh, it or doesn't no? say the date. It just says October two thousand nineteen. Okay. Oh. So, but yeah, that's really cool. Yeah. Oh, can I add one quick Nogi Zaka 46 news before we get to the next section? But I was also a few a weeks ago, I mean, I know Oricon released their, like, midway uh, rank, like, a chart so far of how many music they oh. sold so far. And interesting yeah. about that, that the number one uh, album this year so far is actually Nogi Zaka 46's recent album, Release of Now. On that, oh, oh, cool. The limited edition version, yeah. I think on that topic, um, yeah, Hinata ranked number one for something as well. I think it's singles. Well, they got number for Kyoto. I know oh, overall they were fourth. Keiki, sorry, Kiaki was uh, yeah, they were. Oh, so. Kuroi was first, then Kyun, and then yeah. Nana says graduation song somewhere. Oh yeah, to be continued. Yeah, and also although that record might soon be beaten by Arashi's. Uh, Next recent best of album, five times twenty, which I tried to pre-order was sold out. Wow. Actually, I do want to talk about that since we are talking about that. That was the uh, Billboard charts, I believe. Oricon, Oricon. Was it Oricon? Yeah, it was Oricon. Oh, no. It was Oricon. <laughs> okay, but there is yeah. some news on the Billboard charts, which we can use this as a stepping stone to talk about uh, some Eyes One news now. Yep, go ahead, <laughs> and I'll just sit back. So, um, they revealed, uh, some of the rankings for the Billboard Japan charts, mm -hmm. and, um, Eyes One is actually at number one with Buenos Aires, wow. which sold, uh, over 300,000 copies, mm -hmm. and uh, also in that same vein, um, on, uh, second place was Denpagumi Inc. with Inochi no Yorokobi, with, uh, over 16,000 copies. Mm-hmm. And also is a Girls Girls debut single, Daijobu, with over 16,000 singles. Uh, for you guys who don't know, Girls Girls is a unit that debuted um, from... Uh, the members, they were all participating in the Girls Heroine uh, TV mm -hmm. franchise. Mm -hmm. I actually, I really like the song Daijobu. It's... They're using a uh, Mirage Mirage version as the opening theme for Phantom Mirage. Mm -hmm. It's it's a really good song, you guys. Like all mm -hmm. all of the music from 
them, all the groups, honestly, has been really catchy. So this really has not disappointed. This was a good oh. debut for them. And also the Buenos Aires, it's also, I think it was number one day one sales in Oricon as well, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the, uh, the Wiz One edition of the single is actually sold out completely, so... Oh, and I actually listened to the, the digital version, actually. I listened to the actual entire mini-album, actually. Mm -hmm. And oh. also for the Billboard Japan sales charts, um, Arashi's uh, anniversary album, mm -hmm. uh, 5, 5 by 20 All the Best, mm -hmm. has uh, topped for the male artists with over 1 million copies. A million? That was why it was sold out. I was trying to pre order it. I mean, to it get makes to the sense. Luxor. It's, it's Arashi, so... Yeah, and they're ending next year. I thought they were just All their hit hiatus. singles. But, no. well, they're kind of like ending? they're ending? Oh. I think, yeah. Arashi. Um, Michael says he's forgot some Keaki news. Okay, go. Well, we should finish. That. Okay, go. Go ahead, Michael. Yeah, he said we could go ahead. He, he oh. said he'll say later. Okay, gotcha. Okay, so moving on for more, uh, some more Eyes One news. Mm -hmm. uh, they performed on uh, June 29th on uh, CDTV. Mm -hmm. Or wait, has it happened yet? Yeah, it's, it's July no, wait, wait. I know they so far performed on Music Station and Uicon so far. Yeah, it has. They performed uh, Buenos Aires. Yeah, and... Look, they I still see that, see that Bollywood kind of thing still when they performed it. Yeah, Jerison has seen pretty much most of the recent Eyes One performances that they did. Yeah, I saw the Music yeah. Station one. Yeah, and go ahead we... and talk about some of their performances, because I've seen, like, a couple, but not all of them. Okay, so quickly with the Music Station, um, you see, so, yeah, it was a good app, but, like, it began, they performed one as ours, and it might have been similar when they performed the first time on Unicon, but, I mean, yeah, but then... If, and the other song's good. I mean, like, they kind of have that Bollywood sound kind of thing and dance and choreography. But interesting, when they got on the, the steps, when they, the, when Tomohisa Yamashiro was also in the episode, the audience was very excited. And then when Eyes One got on the steps, they uh, they were excited, but not as exciting as the fans for Tomohisa. Well, I think Tomohisa is, like, a pretty big uh, name in Japan. And his the song he performed on the show Change was actually number one and the week was released. Hmm. Yeah, and uh, quickly there was also this other interesting performance that was fun too, like involving a band kind of doing a 1980s kind of style of music. And at the end, after they perform, they show a shot on the host and the and the and Eyes One, and they were laughing after that performance. Well, you mean like they were enjoying it? Yeah, they were like, I was that was unexpected. Yeah, they liked it. Okay, so some of the other performances that they did, I know that they performed at Utakon and yeah, they yeah, performed yeah. Heavy Rotation by AKB48. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they did that, that, yeah. I actually saw I that. I saw that too, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was one I saw. That was really great. I was thinking they could have also performed Give Me Five, but uh, Heavy Rotation works. I mean, hey, Heavy Rotation is like basically AKB's biggest song. Oh, yeah. yeah and Sakura being. KFC. Can you say Corsoro? Yeah, Corsoro. They can't do it. Every rotation breaks because I have all the microphones. <laughs> um, all I can say is that Sakura killed it. Mm. Well, yeah, it's Sakura. Hey, so do you think maybe in a later uh, Japanese single they could do something that has the spirit of AKB? Do you think possibly? It would be awesome if they released a single where they did their own cover of an AKB song, like with heavy rotation or Koi of fortune cookie like if we got an eyes one cover of oh. one of akb's classic songs like that would be cool as an additional track that works yeah okay so is that it in terms of the performances uh i think so yeah yeah okay so last bit up for eyes one news is that uh eyes one is set to join uh kcon la ah uh, yeah that's exciting. Not only performing in New York on Saturday, but also Los Angeles in August. Here's we'll be covering that a lot. And mm -hmm. I'm thinking maybe it's possible that the guy, the gang at the Slow Podcast might be covering it. Might mm -hmm. go to it. Maybe interview some. Maybe interview some of the members. Hopefully, I mean some of them speak English, which is great. 
I mean, that would be cool. I, I have actually seen, I think it was a one young. She, yeah, was, she speaks like fluent English almost. Yeah. Oof. And also, I saw when she was an episode of Eyes One Chew, Secret Friend. Yeah, she spoke a bit of. And also, you Jin speaks English too. It's like she's like Goto Nada. Yeah. Oh yeah. Wait, but do you think? But how well do you think Sakura and Nako and Hitomi speak English? Do you know? Not very well. Uh... <laughs> we can hear them speak well. English. Not very well. Um... Oh. Not good. Hitomi. Not good. Nak They'll probably learn if they can learn Korean quickly. Maybe they'll learn English quickly too. Well, let's go with that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll yeah. find out. Yeah. Hopefully, they will air uh, it on their YouTube channel. Yeah. On LA, uh, mm -hmm. the event will be held at the Staples Center on August the fifteenth and the sixteenth, the and Staples then it will Center. also be held at Los Angeles Convention Center on August the seventeenth and the eighteenth. Oh, that's going to be. Uh, hopefully, they will air it on their YouTube channel, hopefully, so we can watch it and we can cover it Maybe. too. Or like behind hopefully, the scenes footage. Hopefully the full cool content. Too. Okay. Hopefully full content. Yeah, yeah. So next, before we move on to some of the uh, next bigger pieces of news, because there's still a lot to cover, let's uh -huh. go to some of the uh, smaller sections. Let's start with NMB forty eight. NMB, yeah. Okay. So uh, Shiro Mamiru's photo book has released. Uh, she yeah. attended a release event for it. And uh, it has also topped the, uh, or I don't know if it's topped, but it was on the uh, photo book Oricon charts. Yeah, it was mm -hmm. like number one. Yeah, it was number one, yeah. yeah. It had over 20,000. 20,000. It had over 20,000 oh. sold. Yeah, 20,000. And how old did Moria's photo book do? I, we don't know uh, Not yet. Oh. Is my mic is, is my my mic working? I can hear you. Yeah, it's working. Uh, first week's uh, first week numbers should be out on Wednesday. Oh, okay, okay. It's usually a week okay. after photo books release. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see. I Since your mic is something. back on, do you want to mention the Kiyakizaka news you forgot to mention? Yeah, we got that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's concerning our horse loving captain. Oh boy. <laughs> Thank you. Um, the photo book. No. Oh no. It's um. Uh, she oh, yeah. was she was appointed um special ambassador for the Japanese Equestrian Found uh, Foundation for the third year now. Oh. And she recently had an event where she was kind of like a lecturer, <laughs> teaching people about horses. Well, horse. So. Equestrian. Mm. Uh, Horseback but, riding. Yeah. It just Horse, came to me it yeah. just came to me while watching a video. <laughs> Horse jumping. <laughs> no, it, it actually had Yuka in it. I got confused and then I watched it and I was like, ah, oh, that's why I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Anyway, that that's it. Alright. Um, Alright, so back to NMB forty eight. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see. Yoshida Akari will be participating in uh, Innovation World Festa 2019 on oh. the uh, 28th of September. Mm -hmm. It is a festival that is held at uh, Roppongi Hills. Oh, Roppongi. Great mall. So yeah, that sounds really cool. Okay. It's a, a digital creative festival, so I guess that makes sense because our YouTube channel is extremely popular, very successful. Oh. And in one of her recent videos, she just posted a, there's a, a video where she actually showed a vlog of her trip to Seoul, South Korea. Hmm. Did you see All that? All right. Oh, yeah, I got you. I, I haven't seen that yet. I'll have to check that out. I'll check later, yeah. Okay. Now, let's see. I don't know this member, but uh, NMB member Osawa I announced graduation. Uh, she oh, was yeah. a uh, draft third yeah, generation draft. research student. I know her. Yeah. So, yeah, she uh, held her graduation live yesterday on the 30th of June. Mm -hmm. I know the, the gang at MMB for the Takiyaku party was covering that too in their most recent episode. Mm hmm. 
So yeah, I don't really know that much about her because I don't know some of the newer members of NMB48. Mm-hmm. But uh, best wishes to her. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, next up, NMB48 is going to hold a special event in Tokyo on July the 7th. Mm-hmm. I'll pull up some more information about that. Mm-hmm. Uh, it looks like Michael had to sign off for a bit. Yeah, I noticed that. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, the event, uh, Super Fantasy Volume 38 NMB Special Event at Fujisan no Yoko, Tokyo. <laughs> that literally means next to Mount Fuji. Mm. So yeah, July the 7th is when that will be. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. Let's see. And next, uh, NMB announced a live tour as well as a uh, ninth anniversary live. Man, it's been almost nine years NMB48 has been active. Oh. They're nearing their 10th anniversary, too. Next year. That's going to be exciting. Next and, year. Well, and we've got lots of tours happening next year. We have the AKB48 tour, the, uh, H- the NMB48 tour, and the HKT48 tour. Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll talk about that in a second. Uh, Yeah, yeah. So for NMB48, they will be performing in uh, Tokyo, NHK Hall, on uh, September the 4th. Uh Uh, They will be performing in Hyogo at Kobe International House on September 9th. They'll be performing in Miyagi at Tokyo Election Hall Miyagi on September 15th. They'll be performing at the Aichi Prefectural Art Theater on September 21st. Hmm. And their ninth anniversary live will be at the Osaka Jo Hall on October the 5th. Do I see NMB? Will you? Hmm. Will I see NMB? I don't know. It's always a possibility. We'll have to wait and see. Mm. And then last bit of news. Uh, again, I'm unfamiliar with this member, but uh, Shin Zawa Nao suffered a nose injury during a NMB uh, web show. Mm. And she will be taking a break from uh, live performances and showroom activities. Mm. So I meant... I imagine this is probably a severe, like, maybe she, like, broke her nose or something. Yeah. Because it seems to be serious if she's taking a break from live performances and showroom, so. Yeah, I mean, it has to be severe if (laughs) they're going through that lane. So, So, yeah, uh, Yeah. get well soon. I hope your nose feels better, whatever Mm -hmm. happened to it. Mm -hmm. Uh, Next up, uh, HKT48. Uh, Murashige Anna is a, taking a break due to her uh, tonsillitis. I don't know if she's uh, recovered from that because it has been... Uh, let's see, that was that was posted on June the 21st, so maybe she is still taking a break from that. I don't know, try to be honest. Well, let's hope that she uh, is doing well and will get better soon. Uh, Let's see. Next, HKT will hold a Tanabata special live. Which, uh, for those of you who don't know, Tanabata is a special Japanese holiday. That's on July the 7th. Yes. Uh, so well, yeah, they will be participating in that July the 7th. I'm back now. I just went to the bathroom. Just That's okay. Okay. And uh, last up, Tashima Meru has won mm-hmm. the uh, Eiko no Labyrinth Request Cup for the most recent event that occurred mm-hmm. on the mobile game. Mm-hmm. I'd say this is similar to the one that happens for A Passion for You, which we'll talk about that in just a short bit. Mm-hmm. Uh, but for the event, uh, Tashima Meru has been given the opportunity to appear in a movie, which will be released on autumn of 2020, so next year. Yeah. That's really cool. Uh, another boost for her. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
So yeah, congrats to Tashima Meru. Uh, Meru. Uh, next up is uh, SCU 48 News. Uh, SCU. We had another um, graduation announcement. Uh, uh, Yura Akari announced that she was uh, quitting the group. She will leave on August uh, the 11th. Okay. And I believe there was another member who announced uh, that she was going to be graduating. I'm going to go look for that real quick uh, while you... Can you talk about this real quick, Steve? Hmm. While I'm looking See on something. that. I mean, they're leaving the group when they're, the group's at the peak. I mean, we think they're doing very well right now. That's, unless it might be... Hmm. Maybe it's not for them, maybe. Yeah, it just kind of... It just seems that like a lot of members have been leaving recently especially huh. from um stu and um ske how it feels like which we'll get into later huh. oh mm -hmm. it's uh the member's name is ichioka ayumi she will ayumi. also be leaving on august the 11th oh yumi yeah she's a great member talked to her a few times in the showroom Okay. I mean, surprising. I mean, like, but she's all good. I mean, but at least she will be in their next at single. They will be all be in their next at single at least. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. And then maybe they might change their minds and still be in the group. If the song suits very well. But unless it with uh, another hit with SKE's sing, which we'll talk later too. Okay. Yeah. Then, do you want to go down to AKB News next? Or where do you want to go? Oh wait, Next. there's still there's still one piece of news from STU48. Oh, there is. Oh, I didn't I didn't realize that. So the what? STU48 Ship Theater is going to have a show in Tokyo. So you mean they can actually move July the ship? July fifteenth at the wow. Harumi Passenger Terminal. So you mean they can actually move the ship? Actually, I thought they just they stayed there. Well, they yeah, actually... it's a boat. <laughs> But I thought it's just going to be standing That's what that here. boat is for. <laughs> so it has to move from all the way from Hiroshima to Tokyo. Hmm, how long do you think that will take? I'd say not... Well, I mean, I can't really say because I'm not from Japan. Hmm. But, like, Hiroshima... That doesn't seem like it's too far away from Tokyo. Mm -hmm. Unless it's, like... Is that in, like, the lower end? It yeah, the southern part of the country. A day or two, probably, by boat. Okay, just Dang. forget I said anything. I don't know the distance between uh, prefecture mm. from prefecture to Japan. I, I don't know anything. A day or two away oh. by boat. Okay. I know through bullet. Tra I know from bullet train taking I think five hours. I think to get to uh, Tokyo from Hiroshima. I think bullet trains five hours. I I don't know anything about boats. I've never been on a boat. Oh wait, like ferries or cruises? One of no. Those? Oh okay. No, I've never been on a boat. So. Oh, so at least it can go around. That's gonna be great. So. Okay, so yeah, let's move on to AKB48 news now. Okay, mm -hmm. so starting off with AKB news. So currently, AKB is having uh, their own like uh, they're having an event right now, and then within that, they're gonna be holding a live event on September 18th for the Beat Carnival. So that is, oh. that's interesting that they're having a Beat Carnival event. On September, On September 18th. 18th. A live event. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Fairly interesting. Um, huh? And then also Team 8 was just recently in a car rental commercial, which revealed their new song, Sukida, 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 something. I forgot what that end part was. <laughs> I, th I think that was it. Sukida, Sukida, Sukida. Sukida, oh. Sukida, Sukida. Oh. And it's for a rental car by Toyota, which sponsors Team 8, by the way. And Team 8 performed it during one of the theater shows. So, oh. so and I'm thinking... I saw it. It's a all right song. I I watched some of the commercials because there is so many of them out to like show the different like regions of Japan. So mm. that jingle part at the end is stuck in my head where they go <laughs> Toyota Rentaka. Uh, that part is like things. just looping in my head. <laughs> it makes me want to rent a car at Toyota, rent a car. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so also related to uh, Team 8, 
They announced some new shows for their tour, and they also announced a new stage play. Oh, they're doing a play after Kiss, Kiss, Kiss. Uh huh. Hmm. What's it called? Um, I believe it is called B School. B School. Ah, that's right, because I saw um Hamasayuna mention something about that. Yeah, Sayuna's in it. Uh, is Nana Say Yoshikawa in it? I know Yui Yui's in it. Uh, is Nana Say Yoshikawa in it? Not Nana Say? I I don't know. Uh oh. Okay. But um, the show will be on September the fourth through the thirteenth. And then probably it will probably be shown on TBS channel probably like after that. Probably. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. And so for the four additional shows on their national tour, um, on August the 8th, they will be at Osaka International Convention Center. <laughs> That's on 8th Onohi, or 8th day, because it's August 8th, 8th of month of the 8th day, eighth day of the 8th month. Of course. Uh, then uh, on August 31st, they will be at Hiroshima Bunka Gakuen HBG Hall. And then on September 28th, they will be at Naruto Bunka Kaikan. Mm -hmm. And then on October 6th, they will be at Matsuyama Civic Center. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that all the teammate news we have? Uh, well, there is some news with uh, Utada Hatsuka. Oh, yeah, next. Okay, go. go. I have Hatsuka. to look at this, so... Uh, yeah, Utada Hatsuka is going to hold a solo event at the AKB48 Cafe on July the 6th. Hmm. Well, that'll be a very... and Maybe she might do, film a, a TikTok video and probably put it on her, on her TikTok account? You think? I could see that. Yeah, her videos are all great so far. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's see. Uh... AKB also released a shout-out video for uh, Japan Expo Malaysia 2019 on YouTube for uh, their performance that's going to be there. Uh, there's actually English subtitles on it, which is really cool. Hmm. Yeah. It's probably because of Staff T. Oh, the videographers. Yeah. Yes, thank you, Staff T. Thank you, AK Staff Person and Staff for subtitling the videos. Also, okay. uh, they also recently added the English subs for uh, the music video for Sentimental Train. And they subbed the whole thing, not just the music part, but like the drama, the speaking parts in between the music, too. They did? Oh, yeah. They, yeah, they did. Because they, they haven't, did. They haven't subbed their music videos since Boku Tachiwa Tatsuka and I. Well, they did. They released English subs for the completed version of Sentimental Train. So definitely check those out if you're curious, because, again, I just love the dialogue that happens between Jurina and Dasu. It's so sweet. <laughs> and then last up on AKB News, uh, AKB is going to hold their first Taiwanese concert. They're coming to Taiwan. Oh, they're going to the Chen Ma's home country. That'll be exciting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, actually, Machalin and uh, Katarena actually participated in a press conference for the concert on the 26th of June last month. <clears throat> Do you think Team TP is going to join them? They actually are. They're a special oh, okay. guest. Okay. So, yeah, um, the concert will be on October 19th at the Taipei Arena in Taiwan, and the lineup for the AKB members is uh, Okabe Rin, Oguri Yui, Kato Rena, Mukaichi Mion, Yokoyama Yui, uh, Kurano Narumi, Komiyama Haruka, Minegishi Minami, Minami. Kubo Satone, Sasaki Yukari, Fukuoka Sena, Okara Nana, Sakaguchi Nagisa, and Yamauchi Mizuki. Oh, and uh, quickly, some uh, quick, some, let's say, Blu-ray releases that were released by the group in the past. I know, like, 
on uh, June 19th, they released the uh, box set for Request Hour this year, which we can finally see if the audience booed when NGT performed. Mm. And then also on, uh, on Team 8 Day, August 8th, they will be releasing the Team 8 um, uh, of concert collection. That'll be interesting, too. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. All right, so next, let's go to SKE48. Yay! Big one. Yay! Yay! Oh, man, there was some stuff that happened, and it is great. Mm -hmm. It is fantastic. I, I am in such a good mood. <laughs> so where do you want to start, Ruka? Where, where, where do you want to start with this? Well, I mean, let's start with the, the main attraction, no, you know? Of course, of course. Ah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. So, uh, SKE announced, uh, not only the title for their new single, but they also, uh, played the full version of the song on the radio for the first time, and mm -hmm. last night, they revealed the covers and the B-sides for the single. Yep, mm. I, I told you about that. I was with you when I told you about that, and it was just so funny seeing how fangirly you were. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Last night I was freaking out over this. Okay, Ruka was okay. excited. Wait. So first off, first off, they uh, mm. the Avex YouTube channel released teaser videos for each of the individual members, mm. and I thought it was very clever because in the thumbnails for all of the videos, they lined up to where if you got them in an order, there was a letter in each of the thumbnails for each of the members. And when you lined them up, they spelled out, thank you for waiting. So it's like, oh, that's a nice message. Mm -hmm. And then they played the uh, full song on the radio. <clears throat> I forget what exactly radio show it was. Mm -hmm. But uh, what did you guys think of the song, uh, hearing it in full for the first time? Go ahead, Jarrison. You can go first. Okay, well, based on what I've heard of the song so far, actually, it sounds like a very exciting song that it might be the idle summer song of this year. <laughs> well, we still, well, what, what yeah, like, like we've been saying this was like gonna be a potential top candidate for like the summer song of the year for the 48 group. Mm. And oh, yeah, or maybe, or maybe idle groups overall, probably because, because we also got. Dora Mi Sola Si Do and STU 48's uh, next hit single, and No Use Saga 46's Sing Out, too. Mm. So we're probably going to have to a debate about that probably soon when we have all the songs. But yeah, like, what were your thoughts on uh, hearing the song? Me or Steve? Well, I'm just asking. Oh, yeah, like I said it's it's great song. It's probably going to be like uh, maybe the Idol Summer Song of this year. And well, yeah, very... but explain what you liked about it. Yeah, it has that electronic uh, beat, and like one thing, one thing also when when on the show on on Baz and Gans's Voice Friday show, they were thinking that maybe this song could be like the theme song of NHS coverage of the FIFA Women's World Cup. I mean, they could have used it for that, but I mean, like some of the song wasn't released, but it's like that could get everyone excited. Mm. Mm. Okay, then then for me, um, so. First impression of the song, hearing the radio version, um, I'm not going to lie, I had very, very mixed opinions on it the first time listening to it. Um, the one thing that I really do not like about it, why why are the Hayes back? They literally, they literally copy and pasted the Hayes from Stand By You into <coughs> this song. And I'm like, no, I'm like, why, why are these background chants in there again? But, like, at first, like, I didn't really kind of, like, like the rapping parts. But then, like I said, that's my first impression. I have very mixed feelings about it. Definitely, but, um, like, different than what is SK usually does. So it's definitely a lot different. However, the second time when I listened to it yesterday, when Ruka showed me the like the fan made music video, which is just using the commercials, yeah, <laughs> um, or just had, pictures of members during handshake events. Um, it had, no, it's literally just the teasers. Oh yeah, there the was audio, another one that actually showed us. Yeah. The audio was a lot better for that, 
So on my second listen to, I actually think it's a pretty good song. I still like Stand By You better, if I had to be honest, but that's just personally to me. But it's actually a really good song the second time I listen to it. It actually feels nice and different compared to what the radio rip was. And I'm like I told Ruka yesterday, I really hope that they add like a feature to like the end of this, just like SK featuring whoever the the rapper was that they used for this song. Wait, the, 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 oh, a rapper? So it's like usual rap in the song. Yes. Yeah, there oh, yeah. was a male rapper who was a uh, pretty prominent within the song. So you know, I, aside from the girls, of course. Yeah. So I. Sure, like, I hope that they at least put the feature for his name in there because he is very prominent in the song. But overall, yeah, I think it's actually a really good song for my second okay. listen to. Even the majority of the song will be like, oh, uh, this is featuring SKE48, but hopefully it will be balanced, hopefully. Well, it's mainly SKE, but he still has a prominent mm. role in the song. Yeah. Like, like, like one verse in the song? Like no, one verse? it's more than... It's more than that. It's like half the song. It's not half of the song, but it's still like a good amount of the song. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pretty much the first, yeah. So, but then yeah. we got those commercials. Those commercials for the song, and, too. The teasers. And the thing that we discovered while looking... Okay, so we can go on to the CD jackets. Or the, oh, with yeah. the B-sides. Okay, but I just want to say, I, because I didn't give my opinion on the oh, song. Oh, so, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Ruka. Yeah, give your opinion. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. So yeah, I I wasn't really sure what to expect with this song, because like for so long they had been like keeping this well under wraps, so we were like just having to speculate, you know, what kind of song is this going to be for the group? Because this was like a big deal for them, because, you know, now they had changed company is now and this is a huge turning point for the group so it's like what kind of song are they gonna pull out and then when i hear this i am completely blown away by it mm. this is this is definitely something very new for the group even like comparing it to songs like escape that they did this is a completely different feel from escape yeah this is like <laughs> this is a summer party like this is this is to like take what Derek says sometimes when he hears a good song. This is a banger. Like Wait, this uh, is this is like for a first impression. This sounds really amazing. So kinda... I really can't wait to see the music video for this, which yeah. we will talk about now. Oh yeah, and also that with since that they're under, it kind of has that what the sound like with since they're under Avix kind of has that electronic dance sound. I mean, that makes that's sense. Usually, been SKE when you think of SKE. It's like AKB48. It's R and B. But like, like I said, like no, not R and B. No, not not R. &B. Oh no. But like what I was saying, oh, no. like so far, like Stand by You, are better now. But but I'm pretty sure when I start listening to this song more, and then once the music video comes out, I'm pretty sure that I will like this song more than Stand by You. I'm just saying that right now. Hmm. But just as of this moment right now, just stand by you just a little bit more for me. Oh. And about a uh, club thumper, I mean, a really good club thumper would be uh, the MMB48 song, Come On in the Desk. And the video was interesting, too. But, yeah. Oh, yeah, which, by the way, we should talk to you about this, the commercials now, the video, yeah. No, 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 like, because the... There's not much to say about the teaser videos because it, like, it does show each of the individual members, which uh -huh. they all look really nice in there. Oh, yeah. And it kind of looks like a commercial for a clothes, which actually, interestingly, they actually, it might be, the song is actually in a commercial for clothes, actually. No, 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 no. they, no, no, no. no, the clothes, they are a collaboration with a clothing brand, uh, Lagua Gem, oh. but it's not Lagua like Gem, it's yeah. not going to be used for a commercial for the brand. Oh, I thought there was a, oh, okay, yeah. No, that's, that's something gonna... different, that's something different, so we'll oh, get okay. to that, we're going to get to that right now. Yeah. Yeah, go, go, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not the couplings, right? Yes, yes. So, me and Steve uh, discovered it last night. They had revealed uh, the covers for uh, all of the different versions, the limited edition, the regular edition, the theater version. Mm. For Which, oh my goodness. 
I was freaking out because yeah, yeah. You guys should have heard Ruka. Can you, if you guys know the clip of what Iku mean when she, she was like calling Jarena, that was essentially what Ruka was doing. Like she was. <laughs> like to be she fair, was so yeah. Exciting. She was fangirling so much. <laughs> I mean, I was freaking out because I was like, they look so good in these. <laughs> like a K-pop fan, yeah. Like you're excited as a K-pop fan. Uh, it was it, it was it was funny <laughs> but yeah they revealed the covers um the the uh regular edition covers i don't like as much as the limited edition covers if i had to be honest no um actually um steve we got those mixed up the what? ones that were shot in the streets were the regular edition what oh oh I know for sure I'm going to get the limited edition version for sure. Because I would have to get the limited edition if I want photo cards. Oh, God dang it. Oh. But anyways, okay, then I yeah. guess the regular editions I liked and the limited editions I really didn't like as much. Oh. Yeah, the limited editions were uh, the shot of the members. They're like these, uh, these uh, palm trees like photos around them and there's also these uh bubbles suds yeah, i don't know if that's gonna be something that appears within the music video but it is pretty cool to see visually hmm. also uh something that i noticed after a while that made me laugh really hard about the limited edition cover for type a which has a takayanagi akane in it i don't know how this happened but there was an error that made it look like Trudy had three arms. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, they fixed it. They fixed it now. But there was literally a picture. There was the picture was it was like it was Trudy like she had one of her arms pointing out and then her other arm was like near closer to her face. But then you see under her uh, arm that's like pointing out like I think it's her right arm. Underneath your right arm, you can see another arm that looks like it belongs to her. <laughs> I don't know how they did that, but they fixed it. They fixed it, so they fixed that problem. I just, I just wonder how that happened in the first place. Wait, wait they, they weren't behind a, a green screen when they took the picture? Or they were in an actual place? No, they were in a green screen, definitely. Yeah, this these were so, different so, screenshots. Uh, I think uh, Ruka yeah. drop. I think. No, I'm here. I'm here. I'm uh, here. Uh, yeah. But yeah, the the regular editions, as well as the uh, key visuals, were shot uh, on the streets. And where which... were they shot? In L. A. Not to Los Angeles. They went oh. to Los Angeles. SK was in Los Angeles. I was freaking out over this. Oh, then the uh, uh, boy, uh, Josh, and J Jimmy could have saw them. Maybe in their area? No, 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 no. It would have been impossible. They kept this so under wraps. Oh. Like, they yeah. wanted to keep this a secret for the fans. So Me and Ruka were speculating. I'm like, this has to be either LA or New York because of how much graffiti... <laughs> Of how much but we all thought they were going to go to Hawaii. Uh, Hawaii, we thought, but oh, it's okay. It's Los Angeles. I mean, the reason why we found out is because Ruka noticed, or at least when you went to the website and you look at the Type A, it has the documentary for uh, the music video being in LA. Ah. So that's why we know oh, they shot it in LA. <laughs> hmm. So it's. And it's the theater exciting. editions, I want to assume that these also might be shots from the music video as well. Is there, it's like, it looks like they're at a pool party. There are like balloons in the trees and they're uh, shooting near a pool. And these, they're out of their street clothes. And I believe these are the official outfits for the song. And, and the way that I put it, it looked, I said, the actually after watching somewhat uh, Kitsune's music video again, at first I'm like, this just looks like Kitsune's music video. <laughs> but then you're With like, all the no. balloons and stuff, and I'm like, okay, watch Kitsune again, because like I said, I didn't really pay attention to the music video for Kitsune. I'm Same like, oh. color scheme, different and feel. Oh. Yeah. I'll and do you think they might have filmed film the music video maybe in Los Angeles? Well, no! Yeah. What? Well, 
Well, yeah, the music yeah. video for Frustration, yeah, it was definitely filmed in L.A. Oh, well, that's a first for a 40, a 40 filming a video in the U.S. That's, that's, a, that's a first. I, I was just so happy because I had been talking about before that I wanted SKE to come to the U.S. And in a roundabout way, they just kind of made my dream came true. Although they haven't performed yet. Performing is the next step. Like I was oh, yeah. telling, like I was telling Ruka, I'm like, watch, SK is going to announce that they're going to have like a tour or perform in the U.S. while I'm in Japan, and then I won't be able to see it. No, no, never say never. <laughs> Just never watch, say baby. never. Ah. So that's going to be a very exciting music video. Well, we'll have to wait till it's released, which maybe it might release tomorrow. See, maybe I'm hoping for the music video they use the the street uh clothes, the ones that they had during that they're wearing during or in the regular edition pictures and the one i think was it theater because there was like a group shot by because you, you know what i'm talking about ruka like the group street shot yeah the key visual of the group shot so i'm hoping that they're aware of that during the music video which i'm hoping more or less no i'm thinking it's gonna be like half and half you know, like how Muishiki no Iro or Ikinari Punchline was, where it had like. Uh, I mean, I didn't really see Ikinari. I mean, I watched the music video like once because I don't really like Ikinari Punchline. But Muishiki no Iro, yeah, okay, because Muishiki no Iro does have two costumes as well, so. So yeah, uh, next going on to uh, some of the new songs that were announced to be on the <laughs> single, as well as the lineups. So there's the Passion for You uh, new song, Game is Shimasenka, uh, which the music video was already released for that. Yeah. And then there is uh, for Type A, oh, the Passion for You Senbatsu song is included on all types. <laughs> so for Type A, we have uh, Se no de Yose, which is by Coming Flavor, which is a unit for the Sagami Chain restaurant. Uh, it is a tie up with the commercial. <laughs> So from Team S, we have Otani Yuki and Nomura Mio. From Team K2, we have Nakano Airi. From Team E, we have Nishi Marina and Hirata Shina. And from the 9th Gen Kenkyusei, we have Aomi Hinano, Akahori Kimie, Suzuki mm. Anna, and Tanabe Mizuki. Mm. And then next on Type B, uh, this is actually some pretty exciting news. Uh, for Type B and Type C, they have brought back the Akagumi and Shirogumi lineups, mm -hmm. which we haven't had one of those since Sansei Kawaii, which was their 13th single, and that released back in 2013? Oh, yeah, 2013. I remember uh, when that video so came out. So six years ago <laughs> was the last time we had an Akagumi Shirogumi lineup. And so we're getting that back. So for type B, we have the Akagumi uh, Jinsei no Mudazukai, which, uh, let's see, which, okay, yeah. Uh, this was actually, uh, this member announced this on their Twitter, I believe, but the center for this song is uh, Team E Takata Yuki, hmm. which is her <clears throat> first time doing a center. Uh. And uh, the other members who are in the lineup are uh, from Team S, Ishiguro Yuzuki, Kitagawa Yoshino, Nakamura Izumi, and Yamauchi Suzuran. From Team K2, Oshiba Rinka, Ota Ayaka, and Kitano Ruka. And from Team E is uh, Aikawa Honoka, Goto Rara, Nonogaki Miki, uh, and Kutoshi Nao. Miki. And on Type C, uh, Chirogumi, uh, Anohino Secret Base. Uh, I don't believe the center for this song was announced yet, but from Team S we have Kamimura Ayuka, Kitagawa Ryoha, Sakamoto Marin, Sugiyama Aika, and Suzuki Rika. From Team K2 we have Aoki Shiori, Kataoka Narumi, Shirai Kotono, and Mizuno Airi. And in Team E we have Ira Rayona, Kurashima Ami, Saito Makiko, uh, Tani Marika and Fukai Nagai. On type D, this is actually pretty exciting, very happy news. 
<laughs> On type D, we have Yume no Arikae, which is Noji Makano's first solo song. Woo! Oh, so they're putting in the SK single. I thought they were going to release it like by itself, but it they are putting in the SK single. That's great. Yeah. And then in the theater edition, we are getting a song with all of the ninth gen Ken Kyusei, uh, Subedi Dai Kara. Hmm. Yeah, it's good. so out of those versions of the single, which version of the single do you like to get? I mean, I'll probably uh, get Type C because I'd already keys on the cover. Hmm. <laughs> so, that's the only reason. Well,. I mean, I'm thinking of maybe getting version D, but I'm probably going to have to he hear a bit of the song before I can decide which version to get. Yeah, I honestly can't choose, but then again, I don't really order the CDs usually. Like, mm -hmm. I don't really know that many sites that have them. I know that there's the AKB48 uh, group shop, huh? but I've only yeah, got a teacher teacher from there because it was the Sosenkyo single, and I wanted uh -huh. to vote for Judina. Uh, I mean, they probably... should have it available on their store, probably. Bye, I think. I don't know. I have haven't it. really I seen think... an update. I think that's where I bought the last SK single was from Bai because I remember Amazon Japan used to sell um, SK singles abroad, but then for whatever reason, it's probably because of AVEX and their stupid restrictions, um, that they only were shipping in Japan the last time mm. I bought a single. Yeah, I figured that might have been the reason why they had stopped because since they switched over to Keyholder and they're no longer with AVEX, maybe that's mm. why. Or not mm. AVEX, AKS. AKS. Hmm. I mean, I, that's where I also got the the, the, the Junkin single last year, the Fortune Cherry, I got that also from the store too as well too. Mm. But okay. yeah. Hmm. But yeah, I, again, I am just super excited to see how the music video is going to turn out oh, for this. So am I. Yeah. We're probably going to wait to see it. It's probably going to be I mean, it'll very... probably be released within this next week, probably. Maybe tomorrow. Mm. Yeah. Just knowing everybody's luck. Oh. And like one th quick thing about the, the single two is that with the commercials, I mean, when I saw the spit of the commercial, I said my the expression on my face was like as excited as like the expression on my face when I watch a K-pop music video. It's like this is too good. Okay, so okay. moving on. Let's see, what should we move on to next? Should we just go from I guess we can move on to this because this was also some pretty big news. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Passion for You uh, had an event where uh, fans could vote for the members who they wanted to appear in a movie. And so the winning member would get a leading role in a movie that would premiere in uh, autumn of next year, 2020. And the winner for that event, which. By a landslide. Surprised all of us, By but this made me very, very happy. Was Kumazaki Haruka? Woo! Yeah. Ah. yeah, I told my um one friend who's studying abroad with me because her Oshiman is Kumazaki Haruka. I'm like, yo, Kumazaki Haruka is gonna be in a movie. <laughs> and what was her reaction? Oh, she was so happy. Oh. But like, huh? she won by a landslide. I'm like, holy crap! Yeah. By how many points? Yeah, um, the top five members were um, Nishi Marina at fifth place, Takayanagi Akane, who was first place for a pretty long time until the final results, in fourth place now, uh, Kamata Natsuki in third place, uh, Matsumoto Chikako in second place, and Kumasaki Haruka in first place. And to give you an idea what the difference was, Matsumoto Chikako got over 900,000 requests, Kumazaki Haruka got over one million requests. Mm. Yeah. I am so proud of her. I'm kind of sad because I'm like, I didn't see Kitagawa Yoshino in there. I'm like, this girl is meant to be in a movie, and yet she didn't even make the top five. 
Well, I think, honestly, like, for Kitaka wa Yoshino, there's a different feel to being in a movie and being a stage actress doing theater. And Kitaka wa Yoshino, in my opinion, is more suited towards theater acting. Because she's done a lot of stuff with theater, not too much stuff with film. Like, film is still uncharted territory for her, and she's very used to being on the stage and being in theater. Kumazaki Haruka, literally her reason for joining SKE was to become an actress. And we saw, like, in Hamlet, she had... She has very much improved her skill as an actress. Like, even though she has been known for, like, her lisp and her bad pronunciation of words, like, she can't do tongue twisters to save her life, especially if they are in the sa lineup. Mm -hmm. Because she has trouble with that, but in Hamlet, she did so good, and I think that definitely left an impression on people, which is why she got so many requests for this event. Mm. Okay. Mm. So yeah, I cannot wait to see what kind of movie this is going to turn out to be. Mm. We'll wait and find out. Okay. Then quickly, mm. on to the next thing, so... Hidaka Yuzuki threw out the first pitch for the Shunichi Dragons on June 19th. Mm. Um, so yeah, just quick thing is there. Mm -hmm. um, SK is going to be the headliner for Aichi Girls Expo on September the 29th. Woo! Mm -hmm. so I don't know anything about that event, so maybe I'll... I mean, I could probably go to that event for all I know. Maybe I don't know. It's, it's, it's like Expo Girls, so. Um, let's see. Um, SKE is going to appear on Ameba TV show, Jiokuen Ka Kaigi. Jiokuen Kaigi. This actually, this actually already aired. This aired on June the twenty fifth. So it was basically a show where people would present uh, some ideas on how to spend one billion men to help people, one billion yen. Mm. And if all five judges approve, then they will get one billion yen for real. Oh. Wow. I think I saw that before, I think. Mm. So let's see. The members who appeared on that were uh, Matsui Jurina, Suda Akari, Oba Mina, Furuhata Nao, Kumazaki Haruka, Kamata Natsuki, and Kitagawa Yoshino. I have not seen it yet, mm. so I have not seen uh, what ideas they have presented or whether or not they had won. I but I will definitely see. look into that to see if they did. Mm -hmm. um, and then mm. for Minorun, she revealed all these the f the covers for her photo book. Minorun's photo book have been revealed. Oh. Um, I did remember seeing a mini video of Minoru showing the other members her photo book. <laughs> parts of it, and it was kind of funny. <laughs> uh, I didn't see the covers, so I can't say anything on them. Not yet. Please, You're supposed to. But yeah. I mean, you did see them, Ruka. Uh, yeah, I did see them. Oh, so what are your thoughts on them? On the covers? Oh, they all look really good. Uh, Minarun is uh, very pretty. Uh huh. Mm. I would say probably the uh, Lopi uh, HMV limited edition is probably uh, the most risque. The Lawson version. That's Lopi. So, yeah. And then, apparently, Kuro-chan, the SKE manager, announced graduation. Kind of mm -hmm. surprised me. Uh, hmm. How long was she the manager of the group for? Uh, I don't know. I do not know. But she is very much beloved by all of the members. Like, everyone likes her. Hmm. Mm. So, you know it what? is pretty sad to see her go, but we... I wish her all the best. Mm. Yeah. Keep making more great things. Then you can go, Ruka, and then I'll see you. Okay. So, um... Okay, so, SKE, uh, it had already been, been announced that they were going to be performing 
at the Otodama Sea Studio event on July the 15th, which was also with SCU48, but they will also be attending the event again on August 27th. And um, also, this is uh, something that's occurring right now. Uh, they are holding a uh, release event for the new single, which this was today, and I believe will also be tomorrow. Hmm. Two-day um, event? I do not believe that they have uh, performed the song yet. But I imagine, like, maybe tomorrow there's a chance that maybe they will... They will do their first live performance of the song. I could easily see them do that. Mm -hmm. Or, like, because sometimes they have done this at release events before, maybe they'll also reveal the music video? Yeah, I was thinking, because if they did that tomorrow, then they probably might release the video tomorrow, too, as well. <clears throat> so we will see about that. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, something that happened recently was the FC Gifu uh, halftime show. They performed and appeared at the event. There were some pictures of the members who had performed during the halftime show. And it was actually pretty funny because um, the mascot, uh, Giffy, I think is his name? Yeah. The mascot was dancing with them. <laughs> and it was causing people to speculate if that was Machi Otoha. <laughs> because apparently Machi Otoha was at the event. Yeah. So people were speculating whether or not that was her in the costume. Mm. Mm. Nice. Either way, that mascot was really good. Mm. Mm. Let's see. This is also some more pretty exciting news uh, that could be upcoming for the group. Mm. Uh, at a keyholder uh, shareholder meeting, they wow. revealed some ongoing plans for SKU 48. Some of them we already know, you know, the new single coming out, the continuation of the national tour, um, SKE Inc. being changed to Zest Inc. and the Idol School that's starting in October. But um, some new things that were announced, which are pretty interesting, is one, uh, proactive TV appearances starting in the fall. Great. I hope this means we can get a new uh, TV show for SKE48 again. Because, like, I think they only have uh, a couple of shows left. Like, I know they have Buzzed Asemasu. And I think that's the only one that's currently airing for, like, an SKE, like, show. Otherwise, members have made, like, appearances on other TV programs, but, like... For, like, an SKE main show, I feel like Buzzed SMS is the only one that's currently airing right now. Mm, zero Position isn't? Did well, end? Zero Position, yeah. Zero Position is still ongoing. Oh. But, like, Zero Position, they air, like, every two weeks. Mm. Buzzed SMS is, like, a weekly show. Oh. Mm. Okay. Plus, you got their showroom show as well, too, which airs every other week. Yeah, every other week. Which, they actually did announce the lineup for that, which I'll talk about that later. <laughs> and then this is also some really interesting news. The formation of a vocal Sembatsu unit. Well, we already know one member that's going to be in there for sure. <laughs> God of John! Yep. Uh... And maybe Furuhata Nao, because she's an awesome singer. Yeah, definitely singer. Kano Furuhata Nao. Maybe I mean Jarena's not really the best, but Jarena. Um, who else? Oh, Chitty. Uh, Suzudan. She was fifth place in the uh, group singing competition. Like in terms of SKE members, she was second place behind uh, Kano. Her her singing's really good. Also, Chitty will probably be in there because she was also within that singing competition as well. Yeah, she was there, yeah. And also, me and Michael were speculating, like, maybe Ooh. they could also get members, like, not only who are really good singers, but are also really good dancers within the group. And it just made me think back to D.Va. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which, honestly, I would love that. Hmm. And, oh, 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 I also... 
Let me pull this back up. They also announced that they were planning to make uh, active use of the Key Studio in Tokyo for uh, more SKE performances. So, like, they did now solo stage there recently. And also maybe they could do a stage for the vocal unit is mm. probably what they're thinking. Which, in relation to that, with uh, Furuhata Nao's solo live, by the way, that went really well. And she actually announced that she is going to hold a solo live, another solo live, at the SKE Theater on July 25th. Ah. Yay. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's... Possibly See, like, could lead to her having... I remember from the uh, solo concert that she did, she did 15 songs in total... Uh, that included songs from her mini album, uh, songs from the uh, 48 group, and as well as some other songs. Like, I believe she did a Vocaloid song, was one of them. I'd lead so, to like, her I don't know if she's going to do the same lineup for this upcoming one, or have it, like, slightly different. But I am hoping that... Um, Similar to a uh, Nojima Kano solo live at the theater, I hope that we will get a uh, footage of this mm. because I really want to see live version. I've been saying it. I wanted to see live versions of the songs from Nao's solo album because her solo album was so good. Hmm. And it might lead to another and mini album, possibly. Hopefully, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. And just just looking at the photos from the live event from Key Studio. She's a full-blown rock star at this point. <laughs> ah. at, now, Furuhata now is officially SKE's rock star. Ah, yeah. Very much true. All right, so uh, on the topic of um, SKE's showroom show, uh, SKE48 no Sakae Chinchikochin, they announced the lineup for uh, the next week that they are going to be airing is going to be July the 15th through July the 19th, which is the week that I am on vacation. Mm -hmm. And I usually have to get up early in order to watch them because they are in the... I think they're like in 6 in the afternoon or in the evening. Yeah, like 6 in the evening in Japan. But for me, that's 5 a.m. in the morning. Mm -hmm. And since I'm going to be on vacation with my family and I'm going to be rooming... With, you know, my family, I wouldn't want to wake them up just to watch idol stuff. I think that would make them mad. <laughs> but luckily, they will have them come up on YouTube so I can watch them later through there. So, yeah. yeah. So, uh, for July the 15th will be Sato Kaho and Tani Marika. Oh, I can't wait to see That's that That's gonna be fun. I cannot wait to see that one. Uh, on July 16th is Nojima Kano and Suenaga Oka. On July 17th is Arano Himeka and Ikeda Kaede, my personal favorite of the 9th Gen Kenkyusei. On the 18th is Ishiguro Yuzuki and Oshiba Rinka. And on the 19th is Suzuki Kokona and Takeuchi Nanami. Can't wait to see that car full of Tani. <laughs> oh yeah, that's gonna be fun. That is gonna be fun. <laughs> Let's see. It was also recently announced that SKE will be having a um uh, I believe it's pronounced Aya. Aya, yeah. Uh, a yeah. special live with the Passion for You Senbatsu members, which will be held on September the 19th. Now, this is the lineup for the uh, the new song, Game Wo Shimasenga, but Sugawara Maya is in the lineup for that song, but she is currently on a hiatus. So one additional member will get the chance to appear in the live, and it is going to be chosen through a voting event, which I believe is currently going on in the game. So we should get information about that later on in the future. Okay. And then, 
Uh, Obamina and Furuhata Nao are going to participate in Nippon no Mannaka Matsuri. Uh, it's a traditional dance team competition on August the 24th and the 25th as part of the Pepsi Cola team. So yeah, I don't know if we're going to get footage of that, but definitely look forward to that. And then uh, Yamauchi Suzuran announced that she is going to create an uh, online shopping site and a portal site for uh, people who love golf. Or sports. So yeah, I imagine it's going to be a golf merchandise uh, website, and it's going to open on August the 1st. Actually, I wonder if that's going to be international, because she said it's a site for people who love golf around the world. And awesome. it actually says that you can pre-register and subscribe to a mail magazine to get a chance to win a free gift. What's the gift? Well, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe something related to golf, probably. Maybe. I'm, I'm not into golfing really that much. I like golf a bit. And now for the last bit of news for SKE48. Uh, pretty sad. Uh, ninth gen Ken Kyusei, Sugiyama Natalie announced that she was uh, quitting the group. Yeah, no, yeah, her reason sorry. being, she was having trouble balancing her schoolwork with her work as an idol. Well, mm -hmm. I heard it's just that her school found out about it. No, no, you're thinking of a different member. No, am I? Oh. Well, no, so that was a few months ago, I think. No, like, when the Ken Kyusei first debuted, there was a member who her school wouldn't allow her to do yeah, idol yeah. work, so she, like, immediately after the ninth gen debuted, she quit. Oh, okay. This is, Natalie is just quitting because she's trying to balance work as an idol and school, but it's just too much for her, so she's quitting. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's another one, yeah, yeah. yeah and I heard that's another English speaker or something like that. Yeah, well, uh, her nickname uh, was Dubai Chan because she was actually... She's lived in Dubai before, but she's Japanese, like, full Japanese. Yeah. I don't know if she speaks English at all, but, like, that was just her nickname for such a long time because people speculated that she was a happy. Hmm. Okay. Hmm? Then we can move on to the graduate members. We got more. Mm -hmm. Okay. This so, is the last part. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, you quick. Yeah. So, exactly. cool. in the big news, Cyane announced the release of her second solo single on September the fourth. And Woo! knowing Cyane, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good because it yeah. Is good. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Oh, so former. NMB48 member Kinoshi Momoko actually changes name, changed her name and released a song. Yeah. What, what, what did she change her name Wait, to? Uh, uh, stage okay. name. Stage name. Okay, stage name. That's, okay, that's good. Okay, I thought leave, leave. Okay. What's the name? Uh, the name of the song or her stage name? Her stage name. Sta new stage name. Kinoshida. Hmm, yes, Kinoshida, instead of okay. Like that's it's just her last name. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. So it's pretty much she didn't change her name. Just 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 put her last name. And only. Uh, the oh. name of the song, uh, it will actually release on July the third. Is Watashi no Hanashi. Mm -hmm. My story. This is my story. Yeah. Mm. And like the. I believe this is the promotional picture for the single. She actually looks really nice. It's weird seeing her in a dress, but I mean, <laughs> hey, she still looks pretty. Mm. I mean, you know, Momoka, you know, crazy Momoka likes to wear a suit instead yeah. of a kimono to her coming of age ceremony, Momoka. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. hey, she looks good though. Okay. Mm. Um, then, um, 
I'm pretty sure you would know more about these next two, Ruka, mm -hmm. so, or the ones below. Okay. So you can announce those. So, uh, Oshima Yuko is cast in a TV drama called Kyojo. It is actually a drama with uh, Kimura Takuya, which I believe this will be their second time co-starring in a show together since uh, Android. You guys remember that? I don't know, yeah. Mm. Oh man, it was so good. Uh. Basically, Kimura Takuya's character was like an android mm. who looks like uh, the the main character was Shiba Shibasaki Ko, and her husband uh, was murdered, okay. and the android <laughs> looks very similar to her dead husband. Okay. Uh. And Oshima Yuko plays the uh, uh, Kimura Takuya, uh, the dead husband's character. Uh, she plays uh, his cousin. Okay. And her performance in that drama was absolutely amazing. Mm. Like, I would say definitely check it out. Because her character mm. plays a pretty prominent role within the show. Mm. So I would say definitely, definitely check it out. Okay. So mm -hmm. for this for this new show, uh, Kyojo, uh, mm -hmm they will be playing students at a police academy. Mm. And I actually find it really interesting because in the photos here for the drama, Yuko has really short hair. Like, really short. I, I don't know if this is, like, a wig or if this is actually her hair, like, cut short, but it looks really good on her. Okay. Huh? And then, uh, for uh, some stage play news, Akimoto Sayaka was announced to uh, be joining the cast of School of Rock the Musical. Oh, the, the School of Rock. Mm. Yeah, I mean, the musical, it's based off the movie with Jack Black in it. Yeah, yeah. Mm. That's a really wow. good movie. Oh, and, and the musical is really good, too. It's got really good music. Hmm. I mean, I'm not gonna say it was it was like uh, produced by Andrew Lloyd Webber. Actually, I found out. Yes, Andrew Lloyd Webber. Oh, that's interesting. I mean, like, I think we're probably gonna see some of the songs that are being performed on music shows probably eventually. I'm thinking. So uh, the musical will run at a uh, Toshima Arts and Culture Theater in a uh, summer of 2020. Now, obviously, this this is going to take a while to produce because uh, part of the show, part of the thing about the show is that it is kids playing live music on stage. So, obviously, they're going to have the uh, cast of kids practice to play their instruments so they can get it. Hmm. Maybe they can invite some AKB members to do, like, what they did with Give Me Five, where some of the members in that song had to learn instruments before they make, did the song. No, but that's different. Oh, yeah, yeah, different. So oh. actually, no, what interests me is actually for the cast, uh, the person who is playing the main character is Nishikawa Takanori. Huh? He's a huge music star in Japan. You probably know him by his former stage name, uh, TM Revolution. Oh, Wait, oh, TM oh Revolution. him, right. Yes, him. Oh, oh, school. Him. They could not have picked a better guy to play this role. Of course. He spits for it. <sighs> and uh, as for Akimoto Sayaka's role, uh, she's playing the mean girlfriend of the main character. <laughs> oh. You mean the principal in the school? No, not the principal. <laughs> the main character's mean girlfriend. Oh, uh, hmm. that's interesting. So yeah, I am looking forward to that. <laughs> and see it being performed in Japanese. Mm. Okay. Oh. Then, um, in other news, Watsune Miyuki did a full music video of Cheek Tick Cheek. Oh. That was just released. Uh, I didn't see it, but based on the song title, I can imagine what it's like. 
Oh, it's so cute! Okay, then never mind. K-pop cute? Well, just pop cute. Oh, yeah. Hmm. It's, it's really, really cute. Okay. Like, you know, it's that Miruki style cute. Yeah, the fishing uh. type style. Right? The oh. fishing type Miruki style? Hmm. <laughs> but speaking of the solo careers of MMB, which career, who, which member do you think is doing very well right now? Uh, Sayaka or, 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 or Miyuki? Sayane. Both. Both. Both? Oh, Both. I know okay. Both of them are doing good, but still, I think Sayaka. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But yeah. <laughs> both cool. yeah. Um, and then, and more news that I like to hear. So Tomo Chin is going to be joining the cast of Prison Thirteen. Uh, I don't know what this movie's about, but I like knowing that Tomo Chin is still continuing being being an actress aside from her mm -hmm. music career. Because this is also one of the reasons why I put um, Tomochin as one of the most successful graduated members. Because she's constantly in movies, although they're like spaced out. But she still continues being in movies. And then her solo song career hmm. is just hmm. doing so well as well. So, Do you have details uh, on the movie, Ruka? Uh, there's not really too much information on the movie itself, like plot-wise yet. Other than that, she is going to be in it. Mm, okay. Based on the Although, title, I see. think it's might might be in a happening in a prison. I'm thinking, but well, we'll find out if we get with more information about the film. Uh, it's going to be released on uh, August thirtieth. Of uh, this year or next year? This year. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're still working on the Yeah, I have to go soon too. Yeah. So, uh, I'll just sure. continue reading through the news, and we will end this real quick. Yeah, so no TV show roundup. Maybe well, I mean, episode. maybe when Steve gets back, we'll see. Oh, but... yeah. Well, maybe we can wait for next, for next episode, because maybe we can get okay, Michael involved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Continuing, yeah. continuing, Garrison. Continuing. Yeah, I, I am, yeah. So, a uh, former Nogizaka member, Kawago Hina, has... Mm made a career change to a wine manufacturer PR manager. That's pretty ah, interesting. Running wine. And she also started her own YouTube channel. Oh, yeah, the YouTube channel. It's actually an archive of the video she does on Nico Nico. And then if you didn't watch on Nico Nico, watch it on the YouTube channel. Yeah, I don't have Nico Nico. I think Nico Nico is like a... I feel like that's a Japan-only site. Actually, you actually I think you can actually get it international. You can actually get it too. Actually, I have Nico Nico actually. Okay, so um, next, yeah. uh, Nakamura Mariko has resigned from her position on Sun TV as a uh, news reporter. Oh. She had been uh working as a news reporter on a uh, Sun TV, uh, since uh. 2017, so two years ago in, like, the summer. Uh, next, uh, Ichikawa Miori is going to release her first photo book in August. I believe there was a uh, cover, or at least uh, some promotional work released for it, which is her with uh, bunny rabbits. Okay. So that will be released on August the 7th. Uh, also, in terms of her YouTube channel, she released a new video of the opening ceremony for her uh, VTuber girls' school. Yeah. There's also, there is an official website up, uh, ferritjogakuin.com, hmm? which shows, um, it actually shows each of the members' profiles, and links to their social media. So all of the members have Twitter. Some of them have already started a uh, YouTube. Hakari Kana actually it looks like she's been doing YouTube for a pretty long time now. Hmm. Like hers is definitely like the most active or like it has the most videos on it so she has been doing this for a while longer than the others. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, the 
the very first video, or like the latest, not the latest, but like the earliest one I could find, like which was from, you know, her starting was posted 11 months ago, so she's been on YouTube for a year now. For some of the others, it had just started. Uh, for Nemo Iriko, she actually, she has posted like some covers and some other stuff, so she has been pretty prominent on YouTube too. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the members actually have Billy Billy accounts, which I think that's pretty interesting. And um, for Nene, I'm just going to say Nene because her name is too long to pronounce on its own. Um, she doesn't have YouTube, but she has showroom. Mm -hmm. Although I don't think I could handle her high pitched voice for 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 that long. <laughs> like literally, Tempa Shoujo. And then I saw. And then there's... also, oh, sorry, go there's on. There's other news that I saw that isn't on here, but I believe for Ume Chan's group they just did like introductions on their on the YouTube Yes, show. yes, that was actually that's... what I was about to talk about. Oh, mm. you were just on So yeah, else, so um the five new members for the group channel actually released each of their individual introduction videos. So we have um Chan Nana or just Nana, I guess you could call her. Um Momiji, Aki, Mari and Moepi. So, yeah. Okay. And then you can on this, obviously go on to this next one. Okay. So, uh, starting in uh, this month, actually, in July, uh, Miyazawa Saya is going to begin work under Hori Pro. Uh huh. In New Regency. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then, mm. for, okay, so, for the drama that Tomochin is be doing her, um, for the theme song of I Don't Love You Yet, they did a trailer and actually a preview of the song, but I still have yet to see it, so mm -hmm. I don't know what the song is like. <laughs> I should probably check that out. It's gotcha. actually really nice! Mm. Is it like what she's been doing the past couple singles? Yeah, I'd say so. It's a uh, kind of a more upbeat, upbeat pop sort of film. Okay. But yeah, it's really nice. Okay, and then the last piece of graduate news. I'll have you do that because it's about mm -hmm. a drama. So. So, uh, Ikuma Rina will be making a guest appearance in a TV drama. Bishonure Tante Mizuno Hagoromo, episode 3. Uh, that episode will be airing on July the 3rd. Hmm. And guess star rule. <coughs> yes. <coughs> okay, that's it for the news, but now... Lots of news. <laughs> Let's go on to oh, the yeah. TV section. Oh, we should get this quickly. Shows. Yeah. Which one do you want to start with, Ruka? Because I, I watched um, all of these, obviously. The ones that you listed. How about we start with uh, AK Bingo? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's we'll start with AK Bingo, then. So, the two, or say, the ones that me and Ruka are going to talk about were the two newer episodes, one with Yahagi Moloka and Shita Miu. Also known as what it was in the description based on the master list saying push because you know these <laughs> members are getting pushed <laughs> yeah. um, she has a photo book too oh, yeah. but yeah it's essentially both of these episodes are just going into the lives of these two members that are being pushed mm. and it's honestly funny to see the major contrast between Yahagi Moloka yeah. and Shita Miyu. Like, Moaka <laughs> is definitely a city-born city girl. She likes to go out and, like, eat the cheese dogs, cheese corn dogs. She likes to go out into the streets and, like, wait for her fans, like, That's, to see if she can meet her fans. That is insane. I don't think that... Wait, that, she can see her fans? That is insane. I do not. Oh, that's... Well, not that she can see them, but she likes to go out into the street and wait to, like, see if her fans will come by. 
Oh, they know her. Gotcha. Oh. I, that's yeah, that's work. Too dangerous, I think. I was thinking that, yeah. Which, but you know, this... it also showed, though, like, during her handshake events that she was... She was observing all of her fans whenever they were gonna get ready and come up to her lane. Hmm. So she is very smart in that regard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, can we also describe that she's and, also uh, sneaky? for Shitao Miyu, a stark contrast, as we said. <laughs> uh, well, for Shitao Miyu, she is kind of known for, like, kind of a bit of an airhead Ponkotsu character. Yeah, and but a dancer. she's a great dancer, and she can rock it on the runway. She was at a modeling event, and she was doing really good. Mm. But stark contrast to Moeka, how Moeka is a city-born city girl, uh, Shitao Miyu is a country bumpkin, to say the least. <laughs> Bro. Like, she was born and raised in the countryside. Her her family has a bamboo farm. Ah. It's kind of funny. She got her um, tenin, teninus from her mother. Her airheadedness <laughs> from her mom. <laughs> like mother, like daughter. It's so funny. But it's like it's pretty heartwarming to see how like how being raised in the country led her to being such a warm and kind person. Even Muramoto, he, he said, like, her VTR was so good. <laughs> Better than Moika's, even, is yeah. what he said. <laughs> well, uh <-huh>. yeah. Because <laughs> Moika is just trying to wait for her fans on the streets. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, do you know me? <laughs> well, well, Miyu is actually participating in the local athletic festival type thing although she in was place of her grandmother <laughs> yeah. if i may add in place of her grandmother but. which is so sweet and it was interesting to seeing how Mew is definitely a lot more popular overseas <laughs> than moeka <laughs> because produce 48 oh yeah produce she was on that yeah like even people from mexico know her <laughs> Like, they interviewed someone who was from Mexico who was in Japan, and she knew who she was. That's amazing. Yeah. That's bas that, that really is the power of Produce 48. She went from a basically nobody who only had, like, three seconds of screen time in teammates' music video to now people around the world overseas know her. It's insane. Similar thing. Same thing for Moa because after she was on, the, then she had a lot of fans in her showrooms. Hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. uh, next up, let's talk about this uh, mini series that was going on on YouTube. Yep. Yeah. And once again, um, thanks AKB to Steph. AKB forty eight no. Uh, hashtag Maru Maru. I I don't oh. exactly know how you say this. I have... Oh. But I like to call it the uh, the five challenges. <laughs> Oh, yeah. again, Staff T, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for the English subtitles. And also thank you, AKB, for giving us really good variety comedy gold. Which we don't really see on variety shows that much anymore from AKB. Uh, like, like, this was a good, this was a good throwback, especially because Yukirin, even though she was the MC of it, we still got to see some good reactions from her. <laughs> As expected from the Reaction Queen, the OG Reaction Queen. Uh, yeah, so this series was, they were split up into two groups. We had Mukaichi team with Mukaichi Mion, uh, Ayamin, um, uh, Maho, and... Yasuda Kana, right? Yasuda Kana and Yasuda Kana. I don't know why I forgot her name. And then we had Oya Shizuka team with Oya Shizuka, Mishikawa Rei, uh, Chiori, and Megu. And Megu. And yeah, like Ruga said, they took part of five separate events uh -huh. or games, more or less. Challenges. Well. Challenges. Yeah. So the first or, well, competitions oh. really more like. Oh. Wait, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. Wait, yeah. Oh, and then the team that get wins the comp the, the segment, they get a cake. Okay. Fancy cake. 
very expensive cake. Hmm. And now, in your opinion, what was the funniest competition that they did? Uh, let's see, funniest. Um, mm. either the Jenga. <laughs> was it shock Jenga? Or what was the second? What was the second one they did again? They did the Jenga, then they the cream puff. Oh, yeah, the cream okay, puff. I don't know. That one was really not funny. The English. Oh, the English uh, one. The, it yeah, wasn't the... really that funny. If I had to be honest, like it wasn't really that funny. The only funny part was like towards the end with with Adam and Ray, but oh, um, I would oh, have yeah, to say they the got Jenga. the guy from Noviego on that. If Nick was back, he would have been on that segment. They got the guy from Noviego on it. So I said the Django was the funniest. For me, it was the English, just because we got to see, you know, the varying degrees of English each of the members have. And yeah, yeah. the bit with uh, Adam and Ray at the end was absolutely hysterical. Even oh. Shi Chan's reaction was so okay. good. Okay, never mind, because Shi Chan was saying how she was a star. That was kind of funny. <laughs> I'm a star. I'm a comedian. <laughs> I love how she says that she's a comedian. She doesn't of... say she's like an idol or like a singer. She just straight up went to I'm a comedian. <laughs> Which I, I'm comedian. like kind of like, wow. <laughs> okay. She was good. It was a kind of show that knows that Neon actually speaks English very well, actually. She, she does. Well. Yeah, she speaks very well. Yeah. Neon. Okay, and. Last up is uh, we watched two episodes of Nogiego, episodes yeah. 36 and 38. Yes. Uh, now, start. 36, was that the last one with Nick in it? Because yeah, he's been out due to his injury? Well, his uh, surgery. He's still recovering from his surgery. Okay. Because uh, they filmed that, because that was released in april then april so and plus obviously because they had a shoot before the release so this was yeah. probably definitely before probably his surgery happened <laughs> but, yeah. but yeah that was definitely entertaining to watch oh yeah definitely it was entertaining to see um saito yuri and mara or mayawada that section oh, yeah. in the beginning with nick <laughs> oh my god <laughs> <laughs> okay, so essentially the thing is like, um, uh, the waiter gave back the wrong amount of money, back. The change here. And the members had to tell the waiter that they got the wrong change back. But the way that they were doing it was so funny, because <laughs> Saito Yuri was getting mad, <laughs> and it was so funny to see her get so mad. <laughs> she even clicked her tongue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but it, it was it was great to see Saito Yuri just do that before she left, uh, and then Mayawada still being an idiot as always. <laughs> but the, I love just just love how like Nick plays along with Mayawada just so well. <laughs> like Nick brings out Mayawada so well within this English. Stuff. <laughs> no, oh. what's even funnier is when he accidentally speaks Japanese. <laughs> oh. Yeah, because the thing is that like he's not supposed to be like the members aren't supposed to know that he speaks Japanese. Because I think he said it beforehand within when they were talking with um the Soap Podcast before. Like they usually put him in a separate room before, so like they don't know like he knows Japanese at all. But then. His Japanese slipped in this episode, <laughs> which was really first. Fun. It's funny when Mario Wada says in Japanese, and he's like, "No, Japanese, okay." Japanese? Like, no, no. <laughs> Two dollar. I don't know what that is. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Nick is just so good. I just remembered when Nick first appeared at Nogi Ego. I think I talked about this way before. Like at first, when he first appeared, like I, if I was honest, like I didn't really like Nick's character in the beginning of Nogi Ego. But then, obviously, as time went on, Nick just got way better at this job with the Nogi Ego. 
and so like so i'm so happy that nick is like one of the like english people that come in to help them and then um then for um oh my god I'm, 38 no i'm forgetting no no i'm forgetting oh, the, the drawing challenge well shinichi mai and oh hiyuchi hina they also did a thing but theirs was like changing the view within the restaurant yeah right uh shinichi mai actually did really well but hiyuchi hina was just off but then, yeah, then we go to the drawing part in that episode. Oh, the drawings, yeah. And I want to say, like, Saito Yuri's and Higuchi Hina's should have won. <laughs> for both of them. <laughs> okay. Let's see. I gotta go real quick, so let's quickly talk about okay. episode 38. Okay, yes. So, episode 38, oh, we didn't watch episode 37. Episode 37 was um, Saito Yuri's graduation episode. Oh, yeah. Uh, I personally party. watched that, but... But we watched episode 38, and this is the introduction of the new member and replacement for Saito Yuri, uh, Sato Kaide. And Kaide's actually pretty decent, wouldn't you have yeah. to say? <laughs> Definitely better than Mayawada, although Mayawada was hoping for another <laughs> memory to be as terrible but yeah, as her. Like, with her first time doing it, which was like, uh, what was it? She was going up to the hotel front? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and her um, room was overbooked? Like, yeah. She actually did pretty well. It was so funny how she was just, like, trying to... Because she's... Cause I think she was saying, like, how she doesn't usually get mad. I think. Oh, was no, Japanese. no, that was the room service one. Okay, I was wrong. That was the room service one. <sighs> yeah. But, yeah, yeah like, her room service, service, they didn't bring her room service. And, yeah, she said that she doesn't get mad, mad. So when she was, like, expressing <laughs> anger, <laughs> all she did was kick her foot. <laughs> <laughs> and it was so funny. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, good. And then also really funny was um was for Higuchi Hina's situation was that her room was haunted and the ghost was Wadamaya. Okay. And, and to get this, and um, so Adam was the the English uh, guest for this episode. He's been on Nogiego actually a decent amount of times recently. And he was actually the English speaker for episode two of the AKB's Five Challenges. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. He appeared in that, so that's where I recognized him. Yeah, I noticed that too when I watched it. But but yeah, it was just so funny because um, Higuchi Hina was just like the one that's like living inside the hotel room, but then Maya Wada was the ghost. <laughs> <laughs> and then, but see, I thought Higuchi Hina did really well, especially like. They noticed how, like, some of her remarks to Adam of how, like, well they were. Yeah, like, because she was trying to explain, like, ghost in a room. Look, there's a ghost. I can see a ghost. But he's like, well, I can't see a ghost. And then she's just like, you're crazy. Like, you're crazy. I'm, I'm crazy. <laughs> but yeah, that, that whole exchange between them was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was just so nice. And then also, it was shown that Maya Watt is getting her own corner or whatever. So she can try and improve on her English. <laughs> oh. I don't think it can happen. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> She's been on Nogi Ego for like three plus years, and it still hasn't really improved. <laughs> Eventually, it will, will happen soon, probably? Uh, no. Well, well no. I'll be honest, no. Well, well, well. Oh, it's Wadamaya. Yeah. <sighs> and then the next episode will be broadcasted July 28th or somewhere around there, I thought I saw at the top. Somewhere July 28th, 26th, somewhere around there. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, yeah. So I can't wait to watch that episode as well. <laughs> so yeah. That's everything, and... guys. Uh-huh. Is there anything that you All can right. quickly promote? Oh, uh, uh, not really, know. just because I gotta go and I gotta get food. Oh, oh wrapping up the TV show. Okay, gotcha. Well, we just covered a lot of news. That's exciting. Yeah. And I'll on my, and on Canada Day, too. 
great candidate for me and all of us. Another one that's almost three hours long. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, two hours, yeah. So, so until next time, guys. See ya. Bye-bye. Happy candy, everyone. <laughs>